How you guys doing, my people? How on a day, how on a day, how on a day. Yes, we are back again. We are back again. We are back again. Happy New Week to every one of you once again. Happy Monday to you all. Although Monday is almost rounding up. Yes, happy New Week, happy New Week, happy New Week. Yes, we are going to have our two brothers with us now. Okay? We're going to have our two brothers going to have Comrade Stanley Osaze Osa Queen of Odin, and we are going to have Comrade Emmanuel Agbogun. See, I'm here. The mood with two of them want to come this evening. Eh? Me, myself, me, I now understand. You know, uh -huh. now let Stanley, now let Comrade Stanley on. I mean, they think what he said, though. Uh -huh. I want to defend the uh, Emmanuel Agbogun today. Now, me, no, no. <laughs> people, on a door, I on a door, on a popcorn. If you know there with your popcorn, go carry go carry go carry because this evening, eh? Now one begin to hear big, big English. You no know, say this to people that they speak one, they, they speak one kind big, big English. Go carry your dictionary nearby the oh eh, the, the mood where these two people tell they come this evening. Now me not just understand. Eh, but we could hear them more, hear them because me, I will be neutral. I promise I will be neutral. Anybody that gonna call in, no wala. But remember, our rules still remain the same. No insults to my uh, guest. No insult to Governor Obaseki. No insult to any any of my commenters or my contributors. I beg. See, see, see why they smile. So, and um, all of all, you just smile, argue, and uh -huh. we just go like that. No, no need to fight. Oh, uh and -huh. so make gonna like, make gonna like this uh, broadcast. Thank you very much. I can see. People are already here with us. Thank you very much. Mommy, the Aspera, mother of all, is here with us. Good evening to you, Mommy. I can see Osa, Bovo Okonga, Musa, Abdul, Ike Fela, Ida Osa, Betty, Ima, Ike, the best ma. I mean, no, Roag, Roag, I mean, Neroi, B. Eh, Amadasu Farm, James Omo, Bridget, Enabolele. Clarence Bear and Steve. And God go bless you now. Then God go bless all of us. And I take join us this evening. I appreciate every one of you. Yes, we already have uh, Comrade Man no, Agbogun on the backstage. We are waiting uh, for Comrade Stanley Osaze Osa Kuno Odi. <clears throat> yes, so debate everywhere, debate everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm not saying that Governor, Governor, in fact, Governor Baseki. I know I don't feel talking before. Governor Baseki be like celebrity governor. Uh, the way in your own time, till rain, forget any other governor ever read like this. Now make me be say, I don't want to make it fail. I make me not say, I push him, I push him. 
a some of Nazi say no, uh, Nigeria was not like Governor Baseki. No, I, I like Governor Baseki pass you. Yes, you will not they talk. We will not they talk to her. Me like and pass you. Yes. So that be the truth. But more we hear from these people today. Me not they talk at all. I just want look. I just want look kuna. Make kuna they live on for comment session. Make kuna they call in. Make kuna if fat. If you don't buy your popcorn, make I know. Tell me. Tell me. Una de utuna popcorn. Uh -huh. Popcorn, I know that they would water as well. Because these people are not say they are English guy be. They cough, no go cash now. They with your popcorn, they with your uh your if they drink wine, no problem that evening. They with your wine. If they drink beer, your cold beer, uh -huh. no wala. If you they anyone, you know, because series of questions go the if at go the hammer today, eh? Fat, but now they leave the comment for comment session. As soon as they leave them, I'll pass on to them. So now they leave them, they pass on to them. No cheating. No cheating. Uh -huh. The only person with me here, they think for four years, but today I'll be coming to you as well as I could not hold it. Because, uh, you know, say, now na, na the day of his, and come with the man where, you know, he get many things where he want to talk today. But nevertheless, for me, like I said, I'm going to be neutral. All right, my people, share, 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 share. Let others know that we are here. We are back again. If you not share, people not go join us. Not be the thing. Amayo Joe, I see right there. Roland Agado, Cosby James, D A Usadolo, Bless Faith, Says Mon. What's up? What's up? Good evening to every one of you. Akeem, my brother, I see right there. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Roslyn, Obano Ruin C. I see you, Mia Bella. I see you right there. You know, I see you now. I see you now. I see you now. Let's do this honest on Moses. Thank you very much for joining us. I been on got peace special. I've been on got peace special. I don't miss you. I never see you for a while. I never see your comment for a while now. And you don't leave me for a year alone like that. I never hear from you for a long time. What is this? So I hope you're good. I hope you're good. All right. We have our brother. Comrade Manuel Agbogun in the backstage. We are waiting for uh, Comrade Stalos Azor Sakono Hodi. Comrade Stalos Azor Sakono Hodi. Mona help us go find him. We not see him more. That's what they talk so. Eh? Comrade Manuel, they with me for here. We not see you Sakono Hodi. Eh? Comrade Sakono Hodi, come, come. We are waiting. They know they do see of all for night. Eh? Just come now. Let's do this. <laughs> Not our brother. He like work hmm? from CFO uh, office. He go enter Bush from Bush CFO office. <laughs> My people, are they play? Are they play with something? And are they make noise more than a vessel? Yes, we try to play with you. See, yeah. this thing. I just they play with myself. See. Yeah. As I be play, oh, I they play, I they play, I they play, play. When they look me like that, say, eh, you not play rich me, oh. I they play anyhow. All right, we are waiting, we are waiting. We not see Comrade Stanley as us. I could not hold you know, because if I carry uh, Comrade Manuel enter now, come last night, I mean, I can't they talk. Eh, Comrade Stanley as say, where are you? They know they do see or four for night. Eh? See, and everybody is here waiting. Eh? See, and uh, that's what you go do today. Now, sleep, go go take our brother, uh, Comrade Manu Agbogun. They'll come say, we'll not see him. Eh? He don't do yet, nah, nah. Don't do yet since. I beg, from nowhere, Comrade Stanley, they want to go help me call and come. <clears throat> no, mommy, they tell say, Comrade Stanley. Okay, mommy, that's right. He say, uh, come restart the day, Gidigba. We see her so. Not the person where we see, we go know who they Gidigba. Eh? If you see the way man, I go with a sharpen, sharpen the whole self for you. Yeah, eh? <clears throat> That's all those big English where they speak. Me, me, in fact, na question, I mean, they, I know say, come ready, Manuel, support Pastor Sage Zayamu. Why, come restart the support of Basaki. If I, 
Best way go face more pressure today. Now become restarling. Not be because you might not go good on the government. You know, like restarling go face pressure today. We not see come restarling. Um, see, a clearance bed. They ask me, they join me. They ask me, Stanley, where you they make I call them. I will not see them. Hmm? See, a politician. So tomorrow, down I come put Stanley and I go put her for governor. Eh? Now, now they answer us with Stan. If you don't become governor tomorrow, now if they call, I don't carry your phone again. See, you know, they keep to time tomorrow. Now I go say, I want to become a governor, and you don't keep to time. Eh? I go, in fact, may come today. Eh? You don't keep to time. You need to keep to time. Come with Stanley, you need to keep to time. Let me call him. You could have bear with us, bear with us, bear with us. Um, come with Stanley will join us soon. You know? Yes, make could I all they do not comment for there. Oh, Mona, in fact, Mona, they put a comment now. One of the put a comment in advance because now just I don't say Nigeria network who host to do you today. My people, we could have leave on a comment. When I leave on a comment, on a question, we do not want to ask them. Uh, mommy say uh, the one enter with politician style. Uh -huh. Not be the problem with this. So. Eh? See, huh? Now come restart with your the loop for so we know see huh? eh? he's not picking our cause. Eh? Emmanuel I go good day here with me. For now say now life is short to now now man no say day here with me. He's here with me. We not see Stanley. Comrade Stanley, we could go find a beast. Did they see of all fees? Eh? Clarence, be a beg. If we're there, your car, may you help me reach a eh, eh, doji. May you see how they decide that office for there. Eh? We could go find a come. Because that man to the work. Eh? We are waiting. Eh? We are waiting. Ha, did I say, man, I go go fans, don't fool you. Eh? Rita Adams, good evening to you, madam. It looks like, eh, to this evening go tough for, oh, I man, I go go the way your, your, your internet, your they do so. Make the letter and work well, oh. Not come like, say the big question, call they come now. Nah. Some people come and say, I cannot hear. The network is bad. This is bad. There's enough time now. Nah. Let your network work. You know, I know she come to Stanley. Oh, eh? tomorrow now come to Stanley. Go come and say you want to become governor of those states. I will not see him. Hmm? Time, time. Hmm? See, ah, we know. To be honest, the only person that is keeping us here now is come to Stanley. Nobody else. It's nowhere to be found. I don't know where it is. My call him again. What I don't understand, most we always do African time. Eh? We don't have to do African time in everything. Eh? Basically tell you seven. Be there. Be prompt. All right, my people. So what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Austin Yama says he's coming, brother. Hey, okay, so you want make I just sit down for here like this? Man, you're the wait. Bless like, Austin, you can sit down here with me. Oh, maybe you gotta ask them this question. Trust me, this evening ain't go tough. I guess. Oh, I can see you right there. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Vivian the Rose is in the building.
Yes, so oh, that country and a network problem, mommy. You are right. Eh? Their network problem is always there. Network problem, network problem. Eh? But Emmanuel Bogu is here with me. Eh? Emmanuel Bogu is here. We know Sister Lee. Emmanuel Iyamu. Papa. I salute you, Papa. That one I'm a tele tele there. A denim of Elvis, I can see right there. You want me to start with Emmanuel Ekbogu? You can't be like, I said, me no, no, listen. Me no, that this matter out. This one are between Comrade Emmanuel Ekbogu and Comrade Stanley. So if I can't start with Emmanuel Ekbogu, you can't use English to push me from one corner. You say, make a waka. Wait till you say, make a ask Emmanuel Ekbogu. Now, Stanley, me want me to speak English for him. He goes, he's speaking. He no say both of them. Get the way their English did. How I many of you get dictionary for that? Tell me. How many of you are you there with your dictionary? If you are not there with your dictionary, I cannot interpret. Oh. I'm not here to interpret. I'm here to ask questions and listen. So carry your dictionary. By the way, joke apart, where is Comrade Stanley? Eh? We don't see Stanley, oh, to be honest. Man, I go is here with me. I want your flash. I'm on at no say he, he keep to time. Make a flash in man. I want to say they here with me. See, I'm not see man for that. I don't remove him again. He did there with me. We don't see Stanley. Yes, man, I go do there here with me. Tell it, tell it. We could go find Stanley. Come, who know where he did. Oh, eh, be like saying still day a doji's office as I heard the speak. So, because that man, ah, God. To the work, and they call him if you know the go. Okay, they bush. Uh huh. Because I mean, they think just now, or so small, the same thing. I mean, they think, or maybe they, you see, they draw, they draw tape for someone, uh, land now. <laughs> I don't know. Eh? Michael, if they all say, Michael, I bank, but he say, which work? He might, eh, 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 come with Stalin and inside Bush, they go every day. Okay. I don't know where this, to be honest, I'm running out of patience now, to be honest. You, even though you are late, you cannot be late for a whole 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a lot. Is a lot. It's not picking up, man. Manuel, eh, eh. Comrade Stanley is nowhere to be found. So, more you as you say, Emmanuel, I'm good on win, Abby. Come, me no one, me no one just talk this matter by myself. And I'm good is here with me. He's still here with me as I speak. See, yeah. how they say, he's here with me. I'm mute him. See? Let me remove him. Is that with me? But I cannot see. Um. No, he didn't send me any text. Um, I talked to him though before I came live. We talked, and he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go live. I'm coming now. I'm coming now." And uh, yes, you know. His phone is ringing now. His phone is ringing, but he was driving then, though. I, I still have faith. I have faith that he will be here with us. <laughs> okay, my post is not bad with that. Yeah, I'll be trying. Let me call him one more time. If you manage to confess, come out now. They can say that you manage to go wrong. He's not picking up. We are here. My people, more than enough vessel. Not be so we take plan before. See, 
Niger was with the keep to time. We're not a play with our time. Uh -huh. And the guests. And uh, the blame goes to Comrade Stanley. It's not even picking up. What's happening now? It's not picking up. I'm calling his two numbers. He's not picking. Hmm? All right. Hopefully, hopefully, they will come later. I don't know. Okay, do you want me to... This number is public, though. Let me see if I can pull this number on the screen. We're going to help everybody the column. Because a number not be secret. I used to have his number here. We dial him, might be something else. Let's see if I can... Oh, yeah. I need to redial again. Let me see. Somebody is here with me. Who is here with me? Okay. Okay, Manuel left and he's back here. We're not, we're not, we're not sister Leo, to be honest. I'm, 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 I'm fed up now. Now I put the number for screen. Now everybody, they call him. Do you want me to bring you in? Mr. Man, I'll bring you in or because we cannot see Stanley now. Stanley's supposed to be here before I can bring both of you in. You know, normally supposed to be a debate. Comrade Stanley wants to defend Governor Baseki, right? So that's what we're doing here. Um... Hold on, my people. Oh, uh, wow. Cannot find Stanley. Stanley is nowhere to be found. So my number that I put for this, so make gonna help me go find a call. The number is on the comment section. Just call him, call him, call him, call him, ask him where he is. See, I don't put down for screen. I know about that. Could I help me find out? My people, see, huh? everybody don't fool. See, let me call him one more time. What's that mean? Uh -uh. I'm running out of patience, too. I'm running out of patience because. Okay. I think he's going to join us now. I think so. In two minutes, he should be here. In two minutes. Yeah, he's here now. He's here now. We have him now. But the, the funny part now, we have come Stanley now, and we cannot find Emmanuel Agbogu anymore. Emmanuel Agbogu don't verse come out. So it's not one minus one, you know? Comrade Stanley will pay us... Uh, uh, how much we go charge her now? Hundred dollars for this thirty minutes delay, you know, thirty minutes delay, nine year delay. So thirty minutes. We have come Stanley with me. We cannot find him on Agbogu anymore. <laughs> I better make go help me find him on Agbogu. <laughs> okay, okay. We don't get, we don't get all of them. Everybody don't come. Uh -huh. Finally, we don't get there. No worry, no worry, no worry. I'm gonna come down. Ah, some people, but they thought they heard before. We don't get two of them. 
But the person will go take fine today. Now, Comrade Stanley. Comrade Stanley, as I was not holding, I don't go greet you at all. 30 I'm, minutes. I, I know, say I made a very big mistake. I apologize. <laughs> see, tomorrow, now, tomorrow, you see, and I know if we sit down for a share, see, now see. Yeah. This one, our future governor. Now, now, you're the, now you're the treat us like this, anyhow. Now, you see, now see, where, now see the way Stanley they treat us now. No, eh? I have to put on mechanism in place. Is in place. Our future governor, now they do this one. So, okay, now, well, we'll 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 comrade, uh, most uh, comrade Emmanuel, I go go, my brother, right there. Good evening to you both. Can you hear me? Absolutely. Okay, but we are having a network issue now with our brother. I don't know if you can hear me. Comrade Manuel, can you hear me? Yeah, very loud and clear. Very loud and clear. I can hear you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good evening. Very loud and Good clear. To both. Good evening to both of you, and um, it's good to have you both here. Although Stanley was late for 30 minutes, we are not going to ask him today. We ask him any time in the future when he go tell us, say, he want to rule. And that's yeah. what I'm waiting to do today. I go beg you now. I go beg you now. I go now. I go beg you 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 now. Yes, yes. Okay, you can hear me then. All right. All right, we are here. So I can hear you loud and clear. All right, good. The reason why I have both of you here today is to talk about the Edo State government, in fact, to be precise, Governor Obaseki. You know, as you know, you all know that uh, Comrade Stanley Osazos Akonokodi is one of the frontliner who campaigned for Governor Godwin Nogarase Obaseki. In fact, in tomorrow, he's still very proud that he's one of those people who supported Governor Obaseki my charger for me for office in his second tenure. Bring my charger come me for office, my charger. All right, all right. You see, you see the kind of interview they get for here right now. You know, I say if a communist Stanley want to become governor in the future, all these things are going to write it down. Well, I'm not worried. Uh, right now, I don't even know where to start from because both of you are here for a debate. I trust Comrade Emmanuel Agbogu and I trust Comrade Stalin Sazel Sakonokodi, but I believe say I don't know what Comrade Stalin Sazel will talk to Desha, but Moku Lukam. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know how to take package yourself, but for me, uh -huh, I know I, I go there plain like I talked before. So comment <laughs> questions will be coming from the comment session. Okay, any question from the comment session is either to Stanley or to. Uh, Emmanuel, now so we go take Duam. Uh -huh. So this evening now, as you all know, a lot of us know you already, Comrade Stanley and Comrade Emmanuel Agbogun, but the, the, the policy here, you still need to re to re reintroduce yourself. Because we have new subscribers every day. We have subscribers from Kano, Ghana, Zimbabwe, and all. So some of them don't know you. So I'll start from you, Comrade Stanley. Please tell us who you are. Yes, uh, my name is Comrade Stanley Usazosa Wunokwudi. I free born of a dual state. I hail from here. And uh, by the power of our ubiquitous God Almighty, I happens to be one of your illustrious son, a young man, an aspiring political personnel for the future. But for now, I want to say thank you very much for having me. And I just thank you for giving me the platform to express my opinions and view. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go to my brother, Comrade Emmanuel Aigbogu. My brother, please introduce yourself. Comrade Emmanuel, can you hear me? Network Wahala. 
Comrade Manuel, are you there with us? Hey. So I see, see, you know, see the while away, uh, Buari course network. Hey, eh? network. So we have to wait for Comrade Manuel to join us again. I want him to introduce himself, then we move on from there. You know, you guys still need to be patient with us. Yeah, he's back here. He's very prompt. He's here again. Don't worry. He's back with us. So, Comrade Manuel, can you hear me now? Sure, yeah, I can. I can hear you loud and clear, Atalia. Please, can you introduce yourself to my audience, please? Okay. So, I don't know if it's up for me to introduce Yes, 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 yes. Is your turn? Yes. Uh, my name remains Comrade. I am Bogu Emmanuel. All right. My name Thank remains you. Comrade. I Bogu Emmanuel. Yours, noble uh, guide activist. Uh, as you all know, uh, I'm an Edo man and uh, I'm passionate about a better society for Edo people. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Manuel Agbogun, for that introduction. Thank you very much, you both, for joining us this evening once again. Now we are going to get serious now. Okay. Um, as you all know, you know, Governor Baseki, uh, I've been there now for the past one, let's say, a year. You know, so we decided to do this because the two guys that I think I can actually talk to, that we can hear, you know, hear from, because Two of you are one of, one of the frontliners for your principals. Yes, Comrade Stanley Osazao Sakunokodi was the front, one of the frontliners for Governor Godwin. You know, I said, Obaseki, why uh, Comrade Imano Agbogun was one of the frontliners for Pastor Sage Izeyamu. I understand that uh, uh, Comrade Imano Agbogun would like to know what the governor has been doing. So, although we lost him again, because I understand his network is not very stable right now. I don't know if we should just move on. Because if we move on now, he's not hearing. I don't know. Because you see now, the, the network of Comrade Stanley is very good. I don't know. Um, listen, guys, you guys don't leave me on, on this alone. Tell me on the comment section, what do you want us to do? Should we just move on? Start bombarding Comrade Stanley with questions, you know? Or should we wait? <laughs> Michael say APC and PDP today, not today. <laughs> APC and PDP, and these are the two parties where me they pray every day. May God punish come on for Nigeria. The two parties, you know, they are the same people. Michael, not deceive yourself. They are the same people. They are recycling themselves. If PDP not better, they will move good. They are doing crossover. They go here. They go here. They go here. So don't trust any of the parties. You know, so we are waiting for Comrade Emmanuel Agbogun. We already have somebody calling in. I wonder what this person is going to say. Let's listen. Hello, good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Do you know we are live though? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, the reason why I called in is just to correct one statement you made right now. Okay. Uh, you said PDP and APC, please. No, that agenda is wrong. Uh, let's see ourselves as the progressive youth. No, is what I read. The, I read the comments. Sir. It's not me. Somebody said PDP and APC okay, no. today, not today. Okay, I told you where your words. No, okay, no, no. Okay, I told you where your words. No, so let's just deliberate on the issue on ground. Yes, sir. How do we achieve? better things in the Edo state that we are in greatness. Nobody is saying the governor was complete all the roads, all the works unrepresented. No governor can achieve that. Okay. If you carry the money in America and give to them, we know that no governor can complete all the problems or some of the problems in the state. We know. That's for sure. But now, I love these two gentlemen you brought to the studio. These are two brilliant boys. They work for me. They know me so well. Uh -huh. Try and bring him back, uh, Malai Gogo. Yes. So please, let's put our eyes together. Let's uh, expose with prayers the governor the governor have not touched. Okay. Is, uh, no insults. Uh, we should cooperate. Uh, no insult because we have no other states. Uh, these are the youth of the of the future. We of course. From this present politician, so there is no insult. Don't uh, don't make it look like it's a PDP don't or against APC. Yeah. No. 
But she just tell us where the governor have worked. Also, let us know. We'll thank the governor. <laughs> where he needs to work on. Also, point it out. All right. That is it. So, All right. Join us, sir. You can still call back again later. Yeah. Most definitely, I'll do that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. God, God bless, bless you. you my Thank I, you, sir. I, I feel like this. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is a too brilliant chap. You brought me to the studio. That's good. I, lo I love this, man. Thank you very much, sir. Of you, man. Th thank you, sir. Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, there are already a lot of praises for these two, 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 two wonderful men. Uh, but we cannot have uh, compared the man. I will go back at the moment. I don't know what is happening. You see. We're waiting for Comrade Stanley for more than 30 minutes. Now we are waiting for uh, Comrade Emmanuel to stabilize. His network is not friendly at all. So, but people, what do you think? Okay, we have him back. We have him back. Hopefully, the network will be better this time. We have him back now. Uh, let's see. Um, Comrade Emmanuel, can you tell me? No. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to unmute you now, Comrade Emmanuel. Can you hear me now? Sure. Yeah, I'm good to go. All right. Good. Um, Comrade Stanley, please, can you put your phone down? Let's do this. No no cheating. Don't don't go to... No. No, no I'm following, following up with comments. Uh, okay, so that okay. Yeah. okay, wonderful, wonderful. So I'm going to start with you because both of you have introduced yourself. I'm going to start with you, Comrade Stanley Osaze Osakunokode. As you were, like I said before, you were one of the frontliners who, who put Obaseki or who brought Governor Obaseki back to the Edo people in the second term. You know, um, what's your take so far? You know, what can you say about Governor Obaseki's achievement for the past one year? Yes, for the past one year, as far as I'm concerned, if I have to score the governor in respect to uh, a, a percentage 10, in 100%, I'll give the governor 50. And I cannot give him even 70. I'll give him 50 based on his performance. Uh, but I know we still have more apple time for us to achieve him. And because of the fact that there are so many political upheaval, internal political rancor, conflicts thereabout, and uh, I believe that I enough reason to militate the effort of the governor. But uh, beyond that, I strongly believe that uh, what we've just started is just a fragment of the entire tenure. We have four years in the tenure and a year has elapsed, and we still have this political rancor. But I'm, if, I'm, if I'm to talk without sentiment, I'm going to give him 50. I cannot give him 70. I cannot say I scored A, but let's wait to see what happens in the future. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to come back to you on that. 50%. Let me go to Comrade Emmanuel Agbogon. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Okay, Comrade Emmanuel Agbogon, like I stated before, you are one of the frontliners who who fought so hard for pastors, I guess, although he did not emerge as the governor of Edo State. Now, I'm going to ask you, from scale 1 to 10, what do you have for Governor Obaseki for the past one year? Well, um, basically, if you tell me to scale the governor's performance from scale 1 to 10, um, I'll basically tell you that uh, he's performing below 2. And uh, what that implies is that uh, his, 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 his performance are below expectation. And basically, uh, I will be looking at it from the perspective that directly or indirectly, the governor's uh, policies are unknown to Edo people. And as of today, uh, we can actually tell the direction in which we are progressing as a people economically. Uh, in terms of uh, social infrastructure, we are doing very badly in the state. In terms of uh, physical infrastructure, we are doing very, very badly in the state. Uh, as of today, uh, only to the fact that the major construction activity that the governor is doing in those states remains basically a Kenwa road. Uh, that road remains unpassable, whereby we are seen in other PDP led states, uh, like River State, like, like uh, formerly a Boy State that is now APC State. We are seeing uh, other states like uh, Bayasa 
and even Delta, who are doing marvelously well, despite the fact that uh, we are in the rainy season. And these areas are, you know, roof areas. When we talk about roof areas, that, that, this, this is a riverine area where you have uh, lakes and uh, the creeks. And despite in all of this uh, tedious environment, we are assisting, you know, dividends of uh, good governance to an extent, even if not to 100%. So I want to explain this far. If you ask me to score the governor, I will tell you the governor is scoring one over 10. Okay. Okay. Just, just call the governor one over 10 in, in the space of one year. What about five years? Sorry, come again. What's your, what, what's your score in, in his performance for five years? In his performance for five years, I think everybody who lives in a door uh, knows what the situation is. His performance for five years is relatively poor. Uh, and the second lap of his government that has taken over a year to appoint commissioners, even to date, the commissioners are very unpopular because uh, they are not meeting a policy of, on board to drive home a governance structure that can uh, administrate good governance in the state. Uh, not only that, we are being uh, bedeviled with, with the political system where we see uh, corruption and uh, a high place of uh, uncertainty that have been the other of the day. I want to cite, for instance, the Edo State Library. As of today, uh, the demolition of that library is currently ongoing. Uh, to, to further portray my point, nobody knows what is intending to be situated at that location. Uh, for some of us who are you know, very uh, upfront with uh, the policies of government, we are also being told that the Central Hospital happens to be uh, the only a state-owned medical center in a Benin city that uh, provides health needs for Edo people uh, for the extreme poor. Uh, that facility is, is to be taken over by an unknown investor for only God knows what reasons. The policy of the governor that he operates today is very, very unpopular. Uh, the only time when you hear that the governor is taking action is just within the Ochis, uh, his political associates, where he's uh, tussling for political leadership rather than focusing on the on the business of governance. As of today, uh, we are being faced with a, a threat to our security where you have men roaming the streets of Benin uh, in the name of VGN who carry weapons to protect the society, but they are not being you know, uh, encouraged with, with, with any form of, uh, of salaries or any form of uh, uh, you know, uh, better welfare or inclusion, as the case may be. As of today also, uh, we are being bedeviled with the fact that uh, the governor is uncertain whether to support uh, uh, the Ruga settlement or rather to support, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the ban on open grazing. Despite the fact that he was in a meeting where he signed a memorandum with the 19 uh, 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 southern governors to vote against uh, uh, the Ruga settlement as, a, as a, a problem that is currently affecting us to threat to farmers. As of today, uh, one would be expecting that uh, the agro-allied uh, uh, investment of uh, Governor Gordon Nogagas of Basaki that has to do with uh, his oil palm re re revolution should be employing youths carefully and feasibly. But what we are seeing today is that uh, rather than employ youths, uh, I want to cite the likes of one popular person who was to told me today was uh, suspended for corrupt activities uh, in the person of Abel Stone. Uh, uh, where he makes it as much as 400,000 uh, naira on a daily basis. Uh, for me, uh, we, are, we are currently being faced with the backward state of governance, particularly where the governor has been struggling for five years to light up the city. You saw as uh, a few days ago where uh, some of his social media aides who are still uh, beckoning for appointments in government. Uh, we are publicizing the fact that Ring Road you know, is as bright as a uh, Buckingham Palace at night, but the true situation of it is that the uh, street poles that they have procured are still lying fallow for over four months now. Uh, the government appears not to be serious with the business of governance. In fact, it is the business of we, the opposition, that are not putting them on their tools, particularly those of us who are, are, are very inclined with uh, you know criticism and uh, going about it in the modern day spread. You can see what my sister, Mafia Jessica, who is a broad uh, opposition, did by showing potholes in the state before the government knew that they were going to tackle the issue of potholes that were becoming a menace on our major roads. As I speak to you today, 
projects done by previous governments are, are grossly being abandoned, particularly when those projects affect the socioeconomic existence of our people. Uh, leaving a shift from that, talking about the structure of government, uh, even our hallowed chamber that has to do with the House of Assembly is currently still under renovation, despite the fact that uh, we have had two budget passed and uh, you know a very balanced arm of government is subjected to 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 to, to uh, uh, a room apartment, uh, you know, in the executive uh, arm of government. And for me, for me, we believe that uh, the only way where government can perform is when government, uh, you know, meet up with the aims, needs, and aspirations of the people. A panel of inquiry was recently set up uh, where some of us made complaints to the government. And information reaching us from the back door is that uh, the government has targeted all our petitions for those of us who are criticizing them to be thrown to the trash can of history. Uh, you saw not until one year after the NSAS protest where the governor decided to know that uh, injured victims, you know, were still going about their medical needs, despite the fact that he celebrates a, a health policy in a, 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 a specialist hospital where workers, women, in private hospital are paid by state government salaries and the monies and proceeds derived from that hospital are, are payable to private accounts. Uh, we are also seeing a very fast lacuna, you know, when it has to deal right. with the issue of uh, support for farmers. Uh, my yeah, I know is but I believe you will have a ample time for him to also, uh, for me to also sit back and listen. Uh, the truth okay. about it is today that, uh, for, from what we are seeing as a, uh, as a, uh, as a uh, 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 and as also as political activist, our, our government does not have a political focus. Uh, for me, I will rest my case to hear from my opponent. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you very much. But for that, before I go back to Comrade Stalius as also well quoting, this is just a straight answer. For five years performance, you still didn't give the scale. Just give the scale one to ten. Yeah, I, I scaled the governor two over ten. Two over ten in five years. Why one over ten in one year? Okay, Comrade Stalos, as well as I'm going to quote it. Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you now. Okay, yes, we can hear you now. Yeah, now uh, very, very firstly, I think my brother Emmanuel Ibogun is being economical with the truth. And Emmanuel Ibogun has decided to pay blind eyes to the effective working of the Obaseki administration. I don't know the intent of Emmanuel Ibogun if the grievances in the elections as a result of his losses recorded the election, he is still transferring it to date. I, for one, I came here fairly to tell you exactly what is the truth and not the truth. If I am here to embellish the story, I would have told the entire world that Obaseki, I will score Obaseki 100%, or I will score Obaseki 90% or 95%. I said 50 because to some of us, we are only but we are going to ask for more. But let us adjust this issue on the basis of absolute fairness. Now, I'm going to take it one after the other. First, Emmanuel Bogum has decided to turn a blind eye to the security challenge plaguing the entire country. As we speak today, an individual is, is carrying a weapon, a, a weapon made for the DSS. This man is moving freely in the streets. Who controls the security architecture of the country? It is purely the federal government. The only role the state government plays is the security vote that amounts to about 700 million naira per month. Emmanuel Bobo on a daily basis criticizes the vigilante, saying that vigilante is roaming around the street. But as we speak today, Emmanuel Bobo continues to recommend vigilante membership to people in our society. I do not understand the goal and objective of Emmanuel Bobo. I think we need to come out play. Regardless of political divide, that's why I was acknowledged the first caller who called and said, this is not about political affiliation. This is about the collective interest and destiny of the overall Edo people. And as we speak, if we want the best for Edo people, let us forget sentiment in scoring people. Today, Emmanuel Agbogu is a very strong beneficiary of the Obaseki administration. I, for one, I am a beneficiary. Emmanuel Agbogu is a beneficiary, and many other youths are beneficiary. Now, we get our jobs directly from Edo in the diaspora. What are these adults in the diaspora giving to you and I, Manuel Ebogu? They are giving CFO to you and I to do. And eventually, we are not the ones signing the CFO. That same CFO was 
on graduate or Somali administration. The CFO costs about 1.52 million to 3 million naira in acquiring the CFO. As of today, one of your main source of economic revenue is the same CFO established by the University of Missouri, which simply means that you are given ample opportunity to get indirect employment from the government. I told you today, before we called for this debate, I said and I quote, even President Donald J. Trump, President Joe Biden, Angela Merkel, and the president, the, the president of Canada cannot create employment that will take that will take care of the entire citizenry. But when government put policies in place, mechanisms in place, it gives room for an indirect employment. Which, as we speak today, yourself, myself, and many more, in collaboration with those around the world who are giving us our, their jobs, continue to create an indirect employment, which will be recorded by the government of the day in collaboration with our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Now, Emmanuel Bobo talked about the fiscal infrastructure. As we speak today, Emmanuel Bobo only came here to discuss about politics. Emmanuel Bobo has refused to say the truth and nothing but the truth. What is the cost of road construction under the Obasiki administration and as of today, under the, uh, 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 the Oshomole administration? We spend huge amount of money under the Oshomole administration to, to, to construct eight kilometer roads. We spend the sum of twelve, the sum of eight billion in building, building, building airport road. As we speak today, go and check from EDV down to Aroma, down to Upper Airport, down, down to OAA, the, the very long road, go and check the cost implication and look at the durability of such projects. I did not come out here because I'm not a spokesperson to Obasaki administration. I did not, I'm not here to embellish Obasaki, but I said 50%, but let's be very, very fat. Then I ask Emmanuel Bobo, what will you score of Governor Obasaki in respect to his a, 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 a five uh, years present in government. Emmanuel Bobo said two percent. Let's go beyond that. As we speak today, the institutions in our state, like the College of Education in um, Abudu, Emmanuel Bobo should go there and see what is on ground. The truth of the matter is very simple. Emmanuel Bobo has refused to acknowledge the fact that Governor Barry Rogers of Basically is doing his best to address the problem. But this is not to say that to some of us we are totally satisfied with the activity of the governor in respect to this second thing. Okay, Comrade Stanley. Stanley, I'm Hello. sorry I have to cut you there. Before we start, because today we are going to talk, we're going to take a lot of calls from the public, okay? Before we move there, because I want a lot of people to call in to ask you questions and ask Emmanuel Agbogu questions. Now, please, can you tell us five things, five completed projects that Governor Basaki have done before we start taking calls? Very good. First, I have stated clearly, and I'm going to repeat it again. I am not the spokesperson to Obasaki's government. The spokesperson to the government is in the best position to rest, uh, answer that. But for me, I will answer based on my personal conviction. Okay. I have said it, and I'm going to reestrail that I am not saying that Governor Obasaki has satisfied our interest in all expectation. But I know Emmanuel Aibogu is playing politics. But first, one of such projects, I have cited it not quite long. The Iriri Aroba Road started and completed by the Obaseki administration, which is one. As we speak today, Emmanuel Aibogu is here. He is aware that all government offices and parastatas are using the Osioma completed power plant, which is two. And before I go, go to, to explain more, Sir, I want to tell you something. First, in my life of what I have the responsibility to quickly sensitize the public. Even if a joke government has the number of electricity and power to supply to all residents in a joke state, the government have no right to try it, except if they try it, BDC will drag them to court. Because, and that is why we must blame Governor Basaki for campaigning that are going to supply electricity. I don't know, but that was what people said. He used to come because the government has no right whatsoever to bring out electricity for the people in respect and when we make special reference to the constitutional federal republic of nigeria as we speak today power generation we have three stages of power you have power generation you have power transmission you have power distribution power this generation solely lies on the hands of the federal government power transmission lies on the hands of the federal government the power distribution has been privatized by the federal government where you have the disco coming into play. Now, first, if the state government choose to say one of supply Osiomo, this disco will drag the state government to court. So for now, Imanai Boku cannot test or is even the one who convinced me in respect to the Osiomo power plant. 
That's the second project that I've been identified. Then you, you ask me five. Then thirdly, College of Education, Abutu. Go there today and see for yourself. And for those of you, even in Eastern Land, another one completed. In fact, for those who want to be aware, follow our brother, Apostle Alfred Odion Uyinusa. 247, the workings of your basic administration is available there. But get it clearly. Do not misconstrue me. We are not talking here as APC or PDP. We are talking here as an individual who wants the betterment for a do. Where we are acknowledging the fact that upper sector has not performed to our expectation in the second term compared to what we expect as a people. Because we know how all the do massively voted for him. But I still think we need to give him that. But let the Manuel openly tell the entire world that the federal government that Manuel Ibobu continues to support is a failed government. And as we speak today, that government have not been able to achieve a single thing. But no citizen has the right to, uh, to speak. Look at what the statement made. Look at the statement made by Gumi today. He said that the federal government should not dare to labor and bad the terrorists. But those who are not armed are being called terrorists around all tributaries of the do state. Or basically, it's just a fragment. We are living on that cross injustice, and I think it must better be addressed. So I have made a recommendation, and I expect people to follow suit. Get it clearly. I am not saying. I have stated this categorically clear in the past. I'm going to repeat it again. I did not tell Obama that I'm going to sacrifice my integrity for him. Where he best to perform, we will tell him. But I only told him, Your Excellency, we are going to make you win, and you have won. We choose to remain on the path of the people against supporting the interest of an individual. Thank you. All right. Um, before we start picking calls, I'm going to give uh, two minutes to uh, Manu Agbogo. Can you hear me, sir? Okay, so can you hear me now? Yes, 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 I can hear you. Uh, okay, yeah. I just Italy, asked, uh, I asked Italy to, 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 to tell us five projects that the governor of Edo State have done. At least he managed to tell us three. I can complete it, sir, but I just want to be laconic and direct to the point. Okay, if you want me to fine. complete, I win. No, that's fine. At least at the moment, we have three. So, uh, yeah. Comrade Emmanuel Bogo, what can you say about that? Yes, um, basically, I'm, I am, I'm not shocked that the Comrade is actually struggling to mention projects and uh, trying to reflect his, uh, his capacity to think uh, on projects uh, to mention. It should be said, um, Obaseki is, is, uh, is, is a complete uh, a disappointment to what other people expect, particularly even you, the, the umpire who is here, can actually tell that what you are seeing in terms of governance in the state, cannot commensurate to the belief and the aspirations you had while he was coming. Uh, just by the fact that they had a, 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 you know, a manifesto called MEGA that was created uh, barely 48 hours to the general elections, the truth be said is that uh, the government of Mugu is finding it difficult to balance their feet. I expected us to tell us more about uh, the Gregory Seaport. I expected us to tell us more about the industrial park. I expected us to tell us more about the 250,000 jobs created. But basically, let me go straight to the point because he made mention about uh, what I benefited uh, or what I'm benefiting directly or indirectly from Obaseki led government. Now, I must say this for the fact that uh, Obaseki uh, uh, renovated courts, does that mean that Obaseki will claim to say that he's creating employment for lawyers in the new states? Uh, 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 I don't believe to the fact that uh, where a, a government will be in the classroom blocks, that they have also created jobs for teachers. Uh, let me state it categorically clear. Uh, if a new youth who are doing three or four jobs, it is not because uh, we are we are a new youth, no. It is basically because we have created a platform for ourselves. And the uh, people who want to ask, uh, you know, apply for C of O, who is to apply for C of O, you know, from the basis of who they know, we want to contact individuals. It's not a job creation to an extent because uh, people who are doing this job who are basically people who are popular. But obviously, I've been selling lands and doing business with a uh, diaspora before the government introduced a uh, CFO. I have been doing business and doing a lot of things for those people across the globe.
they are my platform. So you cannot uh, give kudos that the government has created job for me. No, the government is only you know using us to create more revenue for themselves. Uh, that is on one part of the divide. Now, let me quickly submit on the basis of ideology of the government. As of today, you will agree with me that uh, rather than what we are seeing, instead of uh, policy formulation and uh, project execution, what we are seeing is uh, litigations over uh, uh, political uh, associates that has been the character of what led to the uh, you know, uh, denial of the governor's ticket you know, in the APC. And I'm very surprised that Dr. Kodi, you know, is, 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 uh, is uh, stating here that uh, uh, some of us do not criticize Buari. If there's any APC member in Nigeria <coughs> who criticized Buari, I think I'm one of them. During the SRS protest, he clamped a podium, you know, created by our platform to, to protest to the youth of uh, Dubai, you know, stating that Buari must go and uh, they must end SARS. Uh, if, if I if I if I not be uh, a focused uh, individual, I should not be uh, you know preaching against the, the, the negativity of uh, of the government that I support at the state level. Now let me make it very very clear here that one thing that uh, we are finding very difficult to to accept in the new state is that the supporters and particularly the frontliners of the Obaseki led uh, aspirations in the new state are not going down with the fact that the governor is failing. They are just looking for corners, you know, to, to, to defend and defend and continuously defend. Now, what we have respected is that Osaka Nogodi will come out categorically and say that uh, on the sea of four jobs, he can categorically publish 200 names tomorrow morning that are doing sea of four and that are making money out of it. 200 names. A do cut across a, a, a do north, a do south, and, uh, and and those uh, central. What? How many youths can they identify from each of these uh, 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 districts in our in our states? Not only that, a shift from that. Uh, look at the health policy in the state today. Uh, the governor is making a policy, which I'm informing us of I believe uh, he might not be informed about that, to close down and shut down the colonial built uh, central hospital. Uh, that is the cheapest health facility in those states. Uh, that accommodates the health needs of the people. Already, uh, the federal establishment at the UPTH is already overstretched, and uh, uh, closing that central hospital only gives provision for a people to patronize uh, uh, the Edo specialist hospital, where a card is sold at the cost of 5,000 naira. Despite the fact, I repeat again, that those hospitals are manned by government paid workers, but the proceeds of what the, the, the activities are in that hospital are paid to private accounts. Uh, a shift from that, uh, I thought I was going to, go to talk more about the do best uh, and the impact that we are currently expressing in our state, despite the fact that uh, the governor has been operating that policy of peace for the past four years, and there's a continuity on it. I expected him to tell me that the primary school in Nikomo, where he hails and resides in Benin City, is currently enjoying facilities from a do best. They are learning from laptops, right. or they are learning from a... Uh, Nikomo is right one of there. the... Come, come really one right? of the community. I, I'm coming, sir. I'm coming, sir. Let me round up on this. Yeah. Igwomo is one of the community that uh, that uh, that are on, uh, 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 you know, when I say the high populated uh, uh, density areas within Benin City that has to deal with proper need for for educational advancement. As of today, in Osakuno Gordon's village, I'm talking about. Uh, uh, I, I want you to ask him: Is there any presence of state government within the last eight years? Despite the fact that it's a frontliner, so these are okay. these are issues. Uh, 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 right. I would pause for now uh, while we take uh, All right. other okay. for, for today's now, debate. Now I have balanced. I have, I have balanced the time. Henceforth, anybody who is responding to each other is three three minutes because we need to work with time. But before we go to Comrade Stalos as also well according, let's speak at least four calls because my phones. I, they are bombarding it with a lot of course right now. Hold on one minute. Hello, good evening to you, sir. Go ahead, talk to us, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Najawatch. You see, uh, this type of debate is very beautiful and it's very good and educating. Uh, my first question I have about four questions to ask uh, Osakwe Nokodi. Osakwe, this is Okaibe of UK. 
Uh, I don't know why most uh, people, I mean, uh, most of us like supporters, they are so evasive. I mean, you've been evasive uh, in this, uh, on this uh, debate now. They just ask you th at least three three achievements you can claim to Governor but you know, oh. Seki. You didn't, you were not able to measure one. You started uh, lambasting uh, uh, Emmanuel Agbogun. Honors for you is for you to say three three items, three achievements of a go governor called you know, Baseki. You did it. This is just synonymous with a lot of uh, those people supporting of Baseki. They are so they are bully, they bully people. No, no, no. Excuse me, sir. What was the question? What's the question you want to ask him now? No, no you should. I, I think he yeah. should be removed because he, he, I know him before now. This is an opportunity for him to get at me. If he wants to ask, us, let him ask. He should not begin to ask. Go straight to ask. Straight to ask if he's not a question to ask, let us go ahead. Yeah. You said I should ask. I have, him I have, I have, I have to say. If you don't have anything to say, let me relax. Go ahead. Hold on. The people in diaspora, the most supporters of Governor Governor Basek, we want to know from their uh, comrades, uh, Stanley Osaf, we're not holding three, at least three achievements. Renovation of uh, the College of uh, Education in Abu is not enough. Just go ahead and just give us the chance. Then no. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. You can call back again. Come respond. You are going to receive more questions like this later on. Okay. Yes. As long as I will. nobody insults you, that's not a problem. No problem. Go ahead. No problem. Yeah. I will not want to go back again, except if he is just joining us. I know I've given three, and if you want me to complete it to complete the five, I have to okay. add others to it. Can you, can you complete it? Yes, go to Afro Pillar in a donut and see for yourself what is on ground. Afro Pillar. No, the truth of the matter is, like my brother Emmanuel Aibogu. Just uh, two minutes, to, two minutes to yes, answer this. Like my brother Emmanuel Aibogu, he's only, he, he, I know him too well. He's playing politics, but let me go to the real issues on ground. First, as we speak today, we have the most functional civil service. In Nigeria today, because of the effort of the Obama security administration, we as civil servants have been trained on a daily basis. Go and look at all projects, apart from the Somali administration, every built by our late uh, um, Dr. Samuel Obemudia. As we speak today, instead of the Obama security administration to allow those projects to remain in the state of Moribo, they all have been revamped. One of the problems that is militating against Africa development is lack of consistency in policy implementation by society administration or regime. Everybody wants to start a new project. Nobody wants to complete what has been started before. I want to say this clearly. The same federal government today that is uh, celebrating it with These are the standard gauge established by the Jonathan Yadu administration. But today, Duari is going to be completing it. Can we not say that because Duari completed it, it should not be given a colleague in that regard? Okay. This same ministry has been abandoned for a long time. I'm going to move on now. People came in and fixed them. Get this clearly, sir. I am not saying that Obaseki is hundred percent okay. I am not saying that you are satisfying me, but I am only requesting from him and Ibogu to learn to be factual and forget about the hatred in his heart. Analyze based on what you see on ground and not because of the fact that you hate Obaseki as a person. Um. Um. I don't know if... Uh... Mr. Manuel, no, hold on, please. We need to complete our four calls because my two phones are on right now. We'll have a caller right here. Hello, good evening to you, sir. Yes, yes. Oh, sir, uh, Elvis, how are you, my brother? I'm very fine, sir. How are you doing? Yes, the two uh, great men that you, you brought today to contribute, to counter themselves, what Obaseki is doing and what what he has achieved for this one year, this recent uh, one years and the past four years in office. Yeah, I've listened to both parties, and I will tell you that we the Edo is the problem that we have. You know, once politics is all over, election is over. You you live in the Edo state, Agbogun, and the young man there, Usafunofodi, live in the Edo state. Anything you cannot take it personal. We let just speak, say the way it is. 
governor of Baseki, what he has done for the Edo's and what is yet to do. Okay. This is what we should be discussing, discussing right in this platform. Right. You don't need to shout. I, I had when the other man said, uh, what's the name? Uh, Okaibe. Okaibe was just, uh, he was just there to to uh, uh, cut out uh, this young man that was going to hold you. You don't speak like that. that this man with your, uh, the the Togbarians, they are, they are backing up Basaki. No, we are not backing up Basaki. The part is that that young man, I listen to him to what he has said vividly. And they are, they are very, very good facts. Good point what he has said. One, we, I was in Nigeria during the 2000 and Sir, you need to round up in the space of two two yeah, minutes, please. I, listen, I'm going somewhere. Yeah. The, the, the stadium, the stadium, the stadium, the local, uh, some of the stadium. Oshamule was there. Oh, the, 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 the reconstruction of that stadium. At least we see what happened there. We the adults, we don't we, we are not saying that Obasaki did not do anything. But before Obasaki oh. come into that power, Oshamolo was there, other governor was there. Okay. Why can't they just touch then the I got as well? Oh. What that young man that just said, I listened to it. Obasaki has not done enough. Oliver has some more. We need more things. So okay. Going, okay, sir. Department. Okay, because of time. Because of time, sir. This because of time. We need to go now. You are not yet to fight. Oh. Thank you, just sir. Speak the truth thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. We need to sir, speak to it. someone else. Thank you, sir. Hello, good evening to you. Please turn down your system. Or anybody that do, does it turn down the system, I'm going to call you off. Go ahead. Your name and where you are calling us from. Hello. Yeah, this, this is upcoming on ISA 1. Okay, go ahead, now, sir. Talk to us. One minute, please. Uh, one, one, hold on. You can't give me one minute. Just give this man six minutes and left out. No, no, no. It's not six minutes, sir. He was here for two minutes. Now. Okay, let me talk now. Okay. I'm the first one that called you to this program. Okay. I told you that that first you made was wrong. Don't give these two young lads the impression that this one is a president of PC or PDP. They you not correct me that it was not just Okay, okay, I remember so now. I remember now, yeah. Uh, please, we should have it in the back of our mind. We have no other states. Yeah. Uh, we are all those electoral is over, politics is over. How do we move the state forward to our take greatness? It should be our goal. Now, I told you the two boys there now, the two men there, they are my boys. I'm coming on Alice. Can you hear me? Good. They know he's talking. Now, what is the first step to assess a government that is performing? The first thing that comes to mind is what is the primary purpose of government and duties of government, life and security of property. Now, Ibadago who just said the government receives 750 every month. It's between 750 and 900 million. It's not trade. It's not static. If you times that by 12, I hope you, know, I hope you all know that that run is no billion. Now, let's leave Nigerian police out for the federal. This, the vigilante, they use that as volunteer to risk their life to come out, to secure everybody in that state. What has the governor provided for them in terms of logistics, support, and the rest? It's, it's close to zero. The only thing we saw one time, it brought about 18 second handed Siena. That is, not, that, is not, that is not done anywhere. Look at what Imo State Governor, Kogi State Governor. They are buying, buying brand new Imo cars. That is for security. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, Round up in 30 seconds, sir, please. No, 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 we don't have time, sir, please. please. Please, the best way to assess the government, you first of all ask yourself, what is coming in as IGRO monthly, federal location, parish reform and the rest, then compare with the work on ground. Okay. That is another way to assess the government that is performing. Now, what is the IGRO monthly of the state government? In Malago, you are very sound. Uh, uh, so you are very sound. You know this. The governor, I don't want to use the word failure because I am the one that is preaching unity. I want us to know insult here. Okay, so thank you, sir. All right. All right. To, 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 to all right. All right. You can call back again, sir. Let's come. Because if the governor should succeed, we all will enjoy it. If the governor should fail, we all will suffer in it. Okay. So we should put politics aside. Thank you, sir. No attack. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Proceed your points and move on. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's talk to someone else. All right. Um, Mr. Israel, go ahead. Two minutes. Go ahead. Good evening to you. We cannot hear you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening, the two uh, 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 debate, uh, debate that are on there, Manuel Bugun and uh, 
from the Stanley Osako Osazi Osako no Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to say this the other caller that came that come that called just now, Epa, we always say, please let us not play politics here. All this language you say of Baseki supporters are, are, are always attacking, attacking. Everything is not done by Obaseki. We should leave everybody alone. Let everybody be let everybody be fair. Stop, we should stop using this Obasek. We are dividing our people. Stop dividing our people. This indoctrination is too much. That's left aside. I want to face somebody, face someone. I want to face him and I um a commercial first. First of all, we all we all know how we all uh, everybody shouted talk back, talk back, talk back. The citizen wants a proper democratic state. What you have so what you have sold to the people, what you have told the people, you must give it back to the people. That is what they want. So my question is. What is the government lying, down, lying in place now? Because some of these things, some of these policies he brought, he has not been able to fulfill it. Okay. So on your side, what do you think the government is going to do? And which, what are we going to be expecting as citizens? To Mr. Osapeno, uh, um, uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel I mean, we, we have been here, I've been listening to you all the time. Sometimes I talk to you, I've, been to, I've talked to you on air. There are some kind of indoctrination that comes from the way you speak sometimes. You are an eloquent person, I respect you. You are from the opposition side. But sometimes there was one thing you make mention one time. Oshomole has done this, Oshomole has done that. But let's look at the talk from your own party. And you have been very viable, you have been very open, you have been talking. I don't expect you to be talking when you cannot even control what is happening in the federal. It's nothing to write home about. And second of all, you made mention of uh, 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 what uh, 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 the, the past governor has been doing this. It's just about doing one thing you take four. Okay. You even said about about uh, about the, the the hospital you just said just now. You made mention of it on your video that this person, these people, they renovated that 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 uh, hospital, and the hospital is the money is going to the, the to the private sector. In All the right. private sector, the the the, 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 the state with the state money. Round up, round up in fifteen that. seconds. Thank you. That, yes, that is what I want him to answer. I want him to answer why is what you were saying they are destroying it. Why is why are the money not going to the private sector? And this is the same government you guys you have been ruling, and, you, and now you, you, uh, everybody wants to call okay. us again. All right. I don't stand for anybody. I stand on my own. This is Thank this you. is democratic. I want everybody to work together. Thank you. They should stop indoctrinating our people. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Before I pick another call, I don't want questions to be too much for my my guests right now. I'm gonna go to uh, Comrade Mano Agbogu first. Comrade Mano Agbogu, please respond to these two callers i guess we, we we got uh it was three callers right um please can you respond to that yes um firstly the first caller we'll call in uh was hard of stanley uh basically i i don't know if it's a uh, uh, more of uh the disappointment he must have been greeted with despite the fact that the governor has enjoyed the full support of the two people that is on one angle uh secondly again uh, I think the second caller who uh, called in made mentions about what ought to be and what we are expecting. And I think the third caller who also called in uh, spoke more about IGRO and uh, what we are currently enjoying. Uh, despite the fact that uh, we all know that uh, all governments in the world do not have the needed resources to do all what they want. But basically, with the resources available, what has been done uh, it's, it's always a yardstick to scale the performance of uh, of any government. Uh, firstly, to start uh, the position of the first caller, uh, I, I I fall on the same feet with him, despite the fact that uh, uh, we saw during the elections that a uh, people came out in their numbers to support uh, the government, and after the elections. Uh, uh, we have not seen more of their voice demanding from the government to do the needful. So on that basis, I, I think uh, uh, we ought to believe that if we are talking about inclusion and unity, uh, they who supported the government should also be on the forefront to demand for the deliverables he promised. That is for the first caller. Now uh, to the second caller. Uh, I want to state categorically clear that the business of government is security of lives and property. A government who sat down in this wisdom 
set up a security architecture for over uh, five months, uh, uh, there about, uh, for what am I saying five months, for over uh, eight months running now, and has failed to ensure that they create an enabling environment for that uh, security architecture to, to deliver. You know what it takes for you to give a hungry man firearms to carry? And at the end of the month, after going about uh, screening the lives of a party of the new people for over 30 days, there's no form of encouragement. These people, uh, they need money to fuel the vehicles. How do they get fueling? How do they uh, procure their firearms? And how do they get ammunition? Uh, these things, I, I think, uh, are left on, on, uh, you know, on these individuals who are volunteers and who are coming together to ensure that they put those things you know, in a safe state. Now, uh, I want to analyze that aspect. I want to take a shift to the issue of Central Hospital. Now, Central Hospital was privatized despite the fact that uh, the governor having uh, set up a panel of inquiry to look into the issues raised on the Central Hospital, only found out that uh, the only position that was not uh, clear or uh, that was wanting or found wanting by the administration where he served as a uh, uh, chairman economic advisor was the fact that uh, the, the contract some were paid in full uh, and not that the materials were not delivered. The contract some, I repeat again, were paid in full because the government wants all materials delivered and do not want the foreign exchange to, to uh, affect uh, those equipment. But so sadly today that we are seeing that private individuals who have won the biddings by those state government to man that hospital are using government employees, government employees, I mean government employees, civil servants who are medical doctors who are under government payroll to man that hospital. But the revenue generated uh, are going to private accounts and not to uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 accounts. And uh, for some of us, that calls for questioning. And on another aspect, again, the governor uh, engaged the NME, the Medical Doctor Association of uh, the state uh, chapter, and saying that uh, they should evacuate. I, I, I believe if that document is not in public uh, for now because there are some in-house negotiations within the government and, and the association, as to the continuous please existence round of, up uh, in the a minute. one minute, please round on one minute uh, uh, against the uh, uh, existence of the central hospital. Now, basically, when you talk about promoting economic uh, uh, prosperity, look at the state of the market that was set ablaze uh, by fire, uh, uh, by wildfire during the, the last election. Uh, look at the uh, urban market that was also set ablaze during the last election era. Uh, another market again was also uh, engulfed by fire. What is going on? Now, uh, Osakuno Kodi said, what is the federal government doing? I think the only firefighting service machine that we have in the new state that have been in the up and doing to meet the disaster needs of the new people were procured by the federal government. And since then, that's why the fact that the new government, you know, gulfs billions of naira. Okay. Uh, uh, we have not seen anything being procured by them. Now, please, I just want to beg you for two minutes to round up on this. Now, All right. on on the issue on the issue of uh, of uh, the way forward, uh, one would have expected that uh, only to the fact that the governor said in his personal that he was going to create the industrial park and the Gilgilis Seaport. Uh, you know, in this second one should be uh, willing to see that at least. Within now the next two years, the Gilgilis Seaport should be up and running, uh, already for commissioning. And one should also expect that uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, what's it called the the mono refinery, the mono refinery that the governor said uh, the uh, 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 you know uh, investing the people's money into should also be creating employment for the people. As I speak to you. Uh, even when you drive around the civil service secretariat and also around uh, the government house uh, drive through, uh, when I mean the government house drive through, that's Adebia Avenue and adjoining streets, like the reservation road, you see that even at night the street lights are not even on most nights. And uh, we talk about the ocean of power here. Let's hear, let's hear from Round up, sir. Now, yeah. uh, look at the state, the sunny state of, uh, of Bini City at night. Uh, you cannot be telling me that the government has been running that, that ocean power plant for one year, uh, using money, I don't use money to buy gas, just to power the stadium that I don't people do not occupy, you know, or have not occupied the full capacity since its creation or since its innovation. 
You cannot tell me the government has been spending monies to run the power plants all day to just run only the central hospital all right. and the government house. That Thank does you. not have up to two of, uh, uh, zero point one percent of the population of Edo people. Thank so you, these are, Thank these you, are We can go on and on. We can go I on know. and on. I know. have time to do but that. I, later I, on. I want to submit. I want to submit by saying. I want to submit by saying that Edo people should not forget also that the governor has run a three uh, 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 man affair government. Since the session of this second, since the swearing in, not until just two weeks ago when we saw the list of commissioners that were sworn okay. in. And, and for the period for the period where he has run the government, the government without executive, the proceeds of the salary that runs into billions that we will goes back, to we will, we come, we will come to that later. Can, can, can you tell me as a frontliner in this government where the Edo State government have used such bogus resources? to do for Edo people. That's why okay. I rest my case. Thank you. First, I want, to say, this, I I want yeah. to say this clearly. First, let me clear an impression. I am not getting a dime from the Obaseki administration. Where, I get, where I'm getting my dime from is from those of you who are watching me right now, based on your patronage. That well, is I'm one. Happy today. Hold on, I'm coming. Happy today. I'm coming. I'm coming. Secondly, sir, <laughs> I might start from it, If I don't know, I don't understand you. Secondly, sir, am I not qualified to be a commissioner? Compared to what we did in the elections, I sang the Ogakari ticket go. Believe me, if somebody is angry, I am number one. But that will not prevent me from saying, because I am angry, let me conclude. I want to tell you today, and I've stated it before. You all know me. I don't pretend. Those who are frontliners, who we are shouting talk about on social media, they are all angry. Including myself. But this is a debate. We must state it the way it is. So, Niger World, I beg of you, give me the same time that you are giving me my own book because to me, I will consider it as if it's unfair. And I know you are never unfair. Okay. How many minutes do you want to talk with? I'm coming. I'm coming. I want to address the Manai Bobo one after Five minutes, that. okay. Five minutes, okay. okay. What we expect as a citizen in the future, we are Oliver Twist. Governor Pastor cannot be my papa. No, be my mama. We're not even relate. He owes the job people work, work, and work. If there are no problem, he should resign. It is because there is problem that's why we elected him to come. So first, what he owes is not excuse. He owes us development. That one. Imanai Bobo is quick to accuse the government. When rain falls, Imanai Bobo come out with this video to show erosions and thereabouts. As Imanai Bobo ever ask. The man who is calling my national, my leader, my chairman, what happened to the 30 billion Naira Pilin Waterstone project? Sit from the, the, the bond market? The date, there is no answer to such question. Uh, decorum, please. I listen to you. I'm very, very patient. Give me a opportunity to speak, Emmanuel. Aye. Now, again, Emmanuel Ekbogu enriched the federal government with much accolade. I could recall. That every Sunday, Emmanuel Bobo uses sticking to cook in his house. But today, in Emmanuel Bobo, I resorted to Baza Baza, including myself. We are not using Baza Baza. We can no longer eat chicken. Hold on. In this country today, we have witnessed hyper galloping, persistent inflation. As we speak, every Nigerians are rich on social media. But we are recorded as one of the poorest people in terms of revenue distribution around the world. Emmanuel Ibogu has failed to discuss about this. But on a daily basis, when Emmanuel Ibogu wants to start in the morning, he starts with Governor Basaki and ends with Governor Basaki. That is another one. Now, yeah, Emmanuel Ibogu talks about the Emmanuel Ibogu, are you patient? Sir, can you be patient? You watch. When you are talking, I will never say anything. I'm looking yeah, at the I, statement so that I don't have to tackle you. Listen to me and support me. Please. 
Okay. Don't me. Okay. Go ahead. Please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're taking my time. Go ahead. Now, Go ahead. Imanuel Igbo will talk about the Gele Gele support. Imanuel Igbo today openly told me that Tunubu will become the next president of this country. Has Imanuel Igbo ever agreed to the fact that, let me not be tribalistic here, you should know that the Gele Gele support will never succeed. I know you know. Because the man from Lagos will never allow the Gele Gele support to see the light of the day because it may distract the revenue generation from that unit. In Nigeria, we get our resources from two parts. The Tinker Highland, the, the ports, and the revenue generated from crude oil. As we speak, the Gelegele Seaport is supposed to be a counterpart funding between the state and the federal government. Whereas the draft port has been built in uh, this state, Aero, Aero 5 state, Kaduna, Dry port where you have no water, where you have no roads. The dry port has been built and completed. But Edo, who has a link to Europe, the date when you visit the legal seaport, the ship where British take on is still there. The federal government, in collaboration with those who enjoy seaports, have refused to allow it to see the light of the day. That is second. Then thirdly, I am not here to embellish your passage. I won't deceive you. I said, if somebody should be angry, I am the number one to be angry. I sang on that character ticket go. But whether I'm angry or not, I should be able to say the truth at all times. I have stated clearly, and I'm going to state again, have I retreated the fact that we expect of Bafeki to do more. But the truth of the matter is simple. If a man right could pay a black eye to the effort of the Obafeki administration, know that it's plain dirty politics. Now, as we speak, I talk about the, the Emmanuel Ibogu knows how Oshomole administration, let us not blame the past, drag up the economy of the state. Now, let me tell you, Emmanuel Ibogu is quick to talk about specialist hospitals. Are you aware that a dozen government spent nine billion naira on Oshomole administration to erect a structure that collapsed on, the, on its own? When the EIA report in that environment told the government that just a project was not feasible in that area. Oh, somebody went ahead. Over 9 billion went under the drain. The highest corruption in the door today is the specialist hospital. One begins to wonder why the likes of Emmanuel Gogu has refused to discuss about the specialist hospital. When it was being commissioned, materials were moved from Selabas and Joe Hospital to that hospital so that they can convince President Muhammad Buhari that the Mosomone has functioned, has, has acted. Now, ask him, I go go in simple question. Is him, I go go telling us now that the specialist hospital as of today is not well equipped and functional? That's one. And again, sir, you know, when you are dealing with a dope people, try to be factual. I saw on social media where the opposition was busy showing different schools. That is in the state of decay. Ask yourself a simple question. If the entire Edo people celebrated Oshomole Red Roof Resolution, Revolution, how come we still have such schools around all tributaries of the state? How many employment did Oshomole create? The only employment created by Oshomole was Edo Year Scheme, which the whole of them were sacked before Oshomole left power. As we speak today, Emmanuel Ibo will continue to enrich Adam Oshomole with more economy. I will not deceive you. When it comes to road network infrastructure, Oshomole gave us a durable road, a very sound road okay. at that. Hold on. I think you've but, talked for a long time now. No, I've not talked for a long time. All through my discussion, I, I was being distracted by Manuel. Have you okay, ever heard well, me talking about Manuel? Well, so I let mean, me talk. I'm trying now, to be fair. I want to run this correctly for seven minutes. You can see now you, you accuse me of taking seven minutes, you are distracting me the more. And I must complete my own. Okay, two minutes now. now. Round up two, two minutes. Emmanuel Ibogu today has refused to acknowledge the fact that I know and I can attest to the fact that Emmanuel Ibogu is feeding over 10 persons separate from his family because many of these youths can no longer eat. You know what we are doing in the society. I want to state this clearly, sir. I am only speaking here, and I'm here to say the truth. I am saying that one year is not enough 
for Emmanuel Bogu and others to conclude in Balo Baseki. If you want to judge of Baseki, judge him in the first four years. Which before a double people voted for Baseki, they saw it with their eyes. This is not time for earmark. This is the time for okay. eye mark. What is on ground? And as we speak, Ezama Egbe, a resort in Mary, in the next okay. two years, Emmanuel Bogu should begin to draw this conclusion. Thank you. Thank you, Comrade Stanley. Uh, now we're going to speak to the public. Uh, Comrade Emmanuel, please hold on. I'm going to get back to you. Let me pick some calls because a lot of people were trying to call me. Uh, I think it's time for us to speak to them. Hello, Mr. Pius. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, go ahead. Talk to us. I'm giving every every contributors. I'm giving you all one one minute, please. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, let me talk to you. Good evening, sir. God bless you all, sir. Uh, and Stanley, who are the two of you. Uh, as much of you, I've talked to you once at uh, once at the time on your program when I called. Uh, we started holding the same thing through this program. The only problem I have with Emmanuel Bogon, Emmanuel Bogon is a very nice person. But the only problem I have with Emmanuel Bogon, when you are saying the bad thing Obaseki is, is doing, also say the good thing that Obaseki is doing. That's why I love uh, uh, our brother Stali, Usano Hoodin. He always say the truth. In my number, you know, at least you are a, a, a good respect in a new state. It's good for you to say the truth. The tell of us he has worked in this place, but he has never worked in this place. That where there is suddenly the place you are not seeing the truth. That. But you always okay. do everything right. You should Usano Hoodin, Usano Hoodin, you always say, you always say the right thing. Okay, like on that platform, you see what already happened on that platform. That's not the very I tried, I called, I called. I wanted to talk to you when we were in platform for America that side. We were just on one side, but on one person. All right, sir. Your side. one minute is <laughs> over now because we don't have enough yeah. time, okay? Let me do this one. What I want you to do, sir. I want you to work with study with an holding. You people should do together. Okay. This government has worked with this side. Why have never worked this side? Let us do this thing together. Thank, thank Let you. Let us forget the bad part. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let, 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 let's speak to somebody else right now. Um, hello, um, Mr. Kim, talk to me. Good evening to you. Hi, good evening, my brother. Um, I, I just want to contribute to the show tonight. Please, there's only one minute you have. Unfortunately, we don't have time. Okay? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Um, I just want to say thank you to the both uh, gentlemen that came uh, tonight for the for the debate. Okay. And uh, we really appreciate your presence uh, uh, tonight. Um, my my, uh, I just want to ask, put a question to Emmanuel Ibogu regarding this debate tonight. Yeah. Um, my question is this: If the if a governor of a state wants to say, okay, build a technical uh, college, should he abandon whatever uh, dilapidated uh, pro uh, project that is on ground and then go and start a new one just because he wants to start a new pro a pro a project and finish it? Okay. Because and your question to Comrade Stanley. Should it be abandoning whatever is on ground just because you want to start a project and finish it? Okay. That is my question. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, let me talk to somebody else. Hello, good evening to you, sir. Your name and where you are calling us from. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Naruna from Geneva. Yeah, I go just, ahead. Uh, go ahead. One... You have only one minute. Go ahead, sir. Mr. Jen uh, okay. Mr. Nauna. Please, can you, can you ask uh, Mr. Emmanuel Agbogun to give us the budget, the average of the state budget as he's sitting there for the last three, three years, the average. If he can come out with the figure, then he's factual. Otherwise, he's just talking like he wants to make everything more complicated. Thank and you. On the other, the other hand, I also want these uh, Edo youths to realize that this sense of entitlement is too much. We should, we should at least remember that we just managed to navigate the, okay. the COVID, uh, uh, the COVID issue, uh, uh, pandemic or whatever. They should not just throw everything away like that. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Bye. Thank you, my brother. Hello, good evening. Your name and where you're calling us from. Go ahead, straight to the point. One minute. Hello, yeah, you already yeah, waste. I'm for, yeah, good evening. I'm calling for Jamie. Okay, I your, just want to your name, sir. Your name, your name, your name. No, we all know the 
Your name, yeah, your name, Joseph, your name, Joseph, your Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Okay, Mr. Joseph, go ahead. Yeah, we all know the problem of asset is facing. Since from 2018, before they brought it to the Yamu 2019, Obasi have been facing problem in the party. Okay. So they are distracting him. That no, do you have a question for my guest? There's no need of question because of we know what is going on. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. You cannot tell me you and that work. You don't know what is going on since 2018. No, mine is not 2018, sir. Mine is the frame of 30 years. If you want to drag me in. <laughs> 2018. That's, that's what I'm saying. Me, me, I'm talking about 30 years, sir. Yes, now 30 years now. Those are the past governors. Okay, okay. You are talking about this, this present one. Okay, all right. Yeah, Thank you, sir. God, God bless you, sir. Yeah. Hello, yeah. good evening to you, your name, and where you are calling us from. Go ahead, straight to the point. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Elvis. I'm calling from Italy. Ah, uh, my name is Sid. Talk to me, my brother. Go ahead. Okay, Na please. I just want to let Stanley to tell us the good five things that Obama has commissioned. Yeah. Yes, good five years. Oh, you mean commissioned? Okay, all right. Yes, good five years. And Stanley should stop attacking uh, in Malahagbogu. Okay. If you stop attacking me, thank you. Thing that Thomas Eki has done, leave the alone. Thank you. And thank you. I don't you. know how to say. Uh, no people, the Thomas Eki use of the Jew for you people. All right. No, no, no. It's okay. If do you have a question? You've you've said your question. Thank you, my brother. Uh, hello. Good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Go ahead. Yeah. One minute. Good evening. Good. This is Janet calling from Italy. My lovely brother, you need to talk to me. Go ahead. Straight to the point. Okay. If you lose Stanley, yeah, you're going to stay in the way for appointment. You understand? So, because I don't see anything good when we feel tell it to people. Because now appointment is in the way for. Everybody okay. knows in my life, you decide what it stands for. Now, for a do to better night. Okay. Uh, All right. That's fine. You are entitled to your opinion. Do you have questions for them? Okay. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, good evening to you. Your name, uh, okay, Mr. Alex, calling from Benin City. Talk to me, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Alex, I want to go straight to the point. Mr. Yeah. Stalin, yeah. Uh, as a human being, I love you, but as a, as a political figure, I'm very, very angry with you. Go ahead. Because you were among those that told us this, this uh, administration governor, uh, the guy was engaging us, he was, he was really democratic, looking for votes. After winning the votes and winning all the court cases, well, how come it has become uh, incommunicado? Why has he declared us personal non grata? Why, why can't he engage us again? That's number one question. Number two, uh, why, well, why is he dragging? Signing the anti 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 crazy law. Are, are you aware that food stock prices are very, very high in the those states? Okay. Like Lagos and other states? Okay. Your minute is off now, Mr. Alex. Uh, yeah. You are, you are going to yes, come back. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Yes. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel is listening to you. Go ahead. Yes, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Emmanuel, as a human being, I like you, but as a political figure, I don't like you too because your philosophical stand, standing with the, with Isayamu or whatever, for me, is a guy that we, uh, we all knew has been with almost all the governors since 1999. He does not have a good good antecedent. He does not have a good pedigree. This one, uh, those don't want to see. Take it or leave it. So if you can come out, if two of you can leave those dishes of this this uh, this man, these guys are like past masters. So I, I okay. don't know. Why Thank are you, you. With, that, with that same person? Why are you on that platform? What are you doing there? Are you being paid or something? Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I'm done now. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Comrade Emmanuel. I'm going straight to Comrade Stanley on this one. Because Comrade Stanley, oh, we lost all of them. We lost both of them. What happened? We lost both of them. Where, where What happened? Rita Adams, where did they help me to look for these two men? Both of them vanished. What happened? Peter Mode, are you there? What happened? Smith Brown, wanna help me look for their comment. In fact, both of them, they are gone. All right. Comrade Stanley, as I could not quote him, please come back. We already have him and Agbogu here with us. Okay, both of them are back here again. Okay, thank God, thank God. Okay, now, um, can you both hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to come to you straight away. The question from that last caller, 
Okay, um, one, why is it that Governor Obaseki is not communicating with the people anymore? As you all know, we all know that the governor was communicating during the time of the election as we speak. He doesn't communicate anymore. There too, he's talking about why is it that the governor is not signing the uh, anti grazing law? So I would like you to answer that. Before we come to Comrade Imano Agbogun, normally we're supposed to go to him. Uh, sorry, Nigerian, please, you re-ask that question. Somebody was calling my line and it affected my network. Ask okay. again, please. Our last caller said, Governor Ambassador were communicating during his second tenure in office uh, to go to the office. Now, he's not communicating to nobody anymore. We don't know where he is. We don't even know if he's still in Edo State. We don't know if he still lives in Nigeria. Where is he? Can you tell us why he's not communicating anymore? And two... Why is he not signing the anti-grazy law? Okay, first, I am in total support of the statement made by that young man in respect of communication. Oh, I, for okay. one, the same way you have not communicated with the government, although mine is personal anyway, I am not the kind of person that rush to say, Governor, see me now, Governor, see me now. No, since after the elections today, I have never sent a message nor communicate with the governor. So if during the elections, the governor was busy coming online to talk to Edo people. I expect him to continue to interact okay. with the people. So if after the election, the governor refused to begin to talk with the people, I think the governor should bear the consequences of his actions. And every Edo city has a right whatsoever to question him in respect to that. I am not here to embellish or to protect the governor. I am only here to speak truth and to speak fact. Where it is necessary, I will tell the governor that you have not met up to expectation in this regard. Then again, in rest, I cannot argue this. In respect to the anti crazy law, I know that the government is coming out with a more robust idea. You know, in, in Nigeria today, the problem we are having is that politicians will want to always remain in the good book of the people. It is not as if their true intention is to remain there. No. They are doing that because they want to be popular so that they can gain more relevance in the next elections. Now, the anti grazing law, majority of them ran and signed. The question is, what is the content of what you have signed? First, Governor Paseki must give us a robust anti grazing law. And secondly, the anti grazing law must be signed. And if Governor Paseki refused to sign the anti grazing law, it therefore means that he's showing to the people that he is an anti people. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I will not, I said this before, and I'm going to repeat it again loud and clear. Okay. I only promise Governor Baseki that we are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that he becomes the governor. I did not promise Obaseki that I'm going to bastardize my future and to destroy my integrity in the face of the two people because I want to support an individual against the interest of a overall majority. No. So, now, in respect to that, I have nothing to say the government must do the needful. In the communication aspect, government must learn to communicate with people. We know the channel that the government uses to communicate with people. It, he must not close the channel. Let him continue to communicate with people. Because if there are no communication, husband and wife can have problems at home. Not to talk of you interacting with the public. That is that. But the only place I'm having issues with Imanai Bobo is where Imanai Bobo refused to acknowledge the fact that this governor has performed in some areas. Okay. In All right. Thank you. Have so that means that our party is not sad. Nothing is being achieved. That is the issue. Any pause right now. Thank you, Comrade Stanley. As well as I can quote, I don't supposed to come to you now, but I'm coming to uh, Comrade uh, Imano. I don't know. Can you hear me, my brother? Sure. Uh, we're well, sitting here, patiently waiting. Okay. Wonderful. Now, before we move, because I have some questions to ask you now from some of the callers. But before that, I would like you to elaborate. You know, to stretch the anti grazing law that the governor refused to sign. I also want you to talk about the 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 silence of the governor of the state. But before that, somebody called earlier on who said, Do you want the governor to abandon on completed project, maybe by the previous government and started and start a new one? Is that what you want? That was the question with a question mark. Why the next caller called. Who said that you should give a budget, a straight budget, a figure of what I, I guess what the government is receiving in a year? Go ahead. Okay. Um, firstly, there's no same mind that will say the governor should abandon projects 
uh, that were, you know, uh, done by previous administration. Uh, but basically, when we are looking at it from that same thing, there are also projects that were done by previous administration, particularly the Shumuna administration, that are still under lock and key. Just the same way the governor is innovating uh, the nursing school. New era model school, uh, that ought to be a role model for model education uh, and learning infrastructure, is still under lock and key. And for me, I believe that uh, if, if you must do things, you must do it very rightly. Uh, someone called earlier to talk about the IGR rule. A do state government receives on a monthly basis as much as five billion naira. As of today, we don't have local government chairman, we don't have councillors, we don't have uh, okay now we now have commissioners, but not fully appointed. But we now have certain commissioners. Uh, uh, for me, one would have asked the backlog of salaries that were accrued to these offices uh, monthly basis. What has the government been using it for? Now. I haven't asked that question. I believe the audience will, will be there to, to just oppose what they believe uh, you know, is best for them and the society. Now, uh, the issue of the open grazing bill is, 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 a, is a clear case and a clear court example that shows the disparity between you know, the government uh, you know, actualizing what the uh, people really want. Because as you all know, even neighboring Delta states have also adopted same uh, same open grazing, uh, anti grazing bill. We are not saying that cattle business, that is a private business, you know, should not be government business. What we are saying is that the way and manner they infringe on the rights of other citizens to go about their business and local activities in their own home state, you know, should be should be managed. That is the interest of the open grazing bill. Nobody has said the open grazing bill should stop the houses or the Fulanis or the Northerners from selling cows or selling their protein meats in our market. What we are seeing that the SSCs, you know, that we see raping uh, farmers, attacking uh, uh, farmers, uh, uh, destroying crops planted by farmers should be managed. But rather what we are seeing is that the government, you know, is showing an uncertain fit to what they want as to that effect because of political grounds. The government doesn't want to appear on the bad books of uh, President Mohamed Bouare as someone who is a full and uh, a, a man and who believes so much that the full and rights must be protected across the country. Now, uh, uh, with the shift from that, what Edo people want is that uh, there should be some more regulation. If you drive within Bini City at night, as dark as, uh, as, as the graveyard at night, from the hours of 11, to, uh, 12, 1, cows occupy our roads till about 4 a.m. in the morning, you know, moving from one point to another. And that, to a larger extent, should not be what is obtainable in a modern city like ours that is evolving. Now, I, I would have expected Osakulukoli to talk much on the achievement of uh, the newly passed the PPP law that has to do with the private property protection law, where we all came out to protest and the formulation of that committee, as uh, as uh, as discussed and uh, and, uh, and 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 by government. But to my greatest surprise, that has not been on the achievement board of Osakulukoli because the committee, as as we speak, is is, is begging for survivor. Uh, a shift from that also, I would want to talk about the revenue of those states, particularly the IGRO, because scholars yeah. in time past have been mentioned about that. On monthly basis, Edo State government has published by the Bureau of uh, Statistics and the Edo State Board of Internal Revenue got as much as $3 billion revenue monthly basis. You heard when Abbott and Ebo uh, Stone had some social media clash. Abbott came out to say on the media that Ebo Stone was receiving as much as 400,000 naira on monthly basis. Comrade Emmanuel, oh, hold on one minute. Do, do you mean internally? Internally. Sorry? You said 3 billion naira internally? Yes, internally. IGRO has declared by the state government. Okay, go ahead. Now, uh, you, 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 you look at what uh, uh, Abbott Obazi raised where a single individual and appointee of government is milking a little people to the tune of, uh, of 400,000 naira per day. That is, if a subordinate is getting as much as that amount of money, what is happening to the number one man and other parties that are, you know, that are decision-making organs within the public works, volunteer works. Now, uh, I would have expected that uh, people observe what is currently going on in the state. 
that we no longer have a hollow chamber where we take our civil uh, uh, you know, issues to, like the House of Assembly, that ought to carry an in-depth uh, uh, hearing on issues and render best advice to the government as a representative of the people. But what we are seeing now is that the entire House of Assembly has been locked in the hall, you know, and our governor is saying that he doesn't want to do those mistakes that previous presidents are doing. Osafunoko also made mention about the new water stop project. He forgets that the government is in charge. The government can probe. The government can also prosecute. What are they doing? Why are they Why are they silent about it? Why are we not seeing the corruption that the the you know the the, the people before the people to be on the forefront? The answer to that question is very simple because the government of the day partook in that uh, corrupt activity as the uh, chairman of the economic team. And therefore, there's no way the pages of those notebooks will be open that his name will not be fingered in the process. <clears throat> I'll explain to Sakuno Kodin to further discuss about the over 70 billion naira facility solicited by the governor from the uh, central bank to advance the cause of agro allied. Uh, uh, oil palm revolution. What is happening to that bulk money that has been uh, accrued to Edo State by form of borrowings? Who and who? Rather than the governor encouraging local farmers to do more and get output, we are seeing the governor bringing in investors. And one thing I've also noticed with this government is that the government is looking for every means to ensure that any money that comes to this state passes through the channels of, uh, of, of the government. Now, look at it. With the issue of the artifact uh, and what needs to be done. The governor has very many projects that you know ought to bother him, like the Gilgil City Parks, the uh, Motan Estate, uh, the Industrial Park, uh, uh, the new airport he said he wants to site at the uh, uh, Donut. Uh, why why not focus on those projects you are you are you are you are mentioning for new people? You know, why not focus on achieving them? But why put eye on a property that belongs to a cultural heritage within the state that was stolen by, by the colonial masters who came. Now, having said that, I also want to uh, touch more a little bit on the issue of uh, uh, direct loans, direct loans to our market women. Uh, you understand that the governor promised us uh, 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 two minutes to go. market women to get some support. Yeah, two minutes I'll be running up. The government promised market women to get some support, but today, as we speak, those monies are not even available to the market women. The market women are still being, you know, are forced to sell their goods under the, the, the harsh condition that we meet in our major markets in Benin City. This is not a tedious project for the government to do, but up to date, we are not in any, any, any changes. You all have known that before the elections and after the elections, we have been talking about the continuous blackout in Benin City at night, particularly roads. Nothing stopped the government from doing those uh, uh, street lights that the CBC Automatic Radio has introduced to those states that are powered by solar, some of which you see on my streets that have shown over time. So we do not understand uh, uh, why the Oceano power uh, is not meeting up to expectation. Why is it just only centered uh, you know, in, a, in a stadium, in government house, and in the parastatus of government. Is it that uh, those states spent that bulk amount of money just to, you know, uh, uh, put on uh, 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 electricity for only government officials in the state? So these are questions that are begging for answer. However, to conclude, I expect us to to be talking as somebody who is seeing the, the dividends of democracy in those states and citing example. For instance, Osakuno Kodi should be telling us that on or before 2023, uh, the AOG uh, proposed airport should be, should be on ground, the Gilegele seaport should be completed, the industrial park. Do not forget, in the last three years, to date, Obaseki has got over 160 billion naira as revenue to the state. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, let me quickly respond to this. I am very, very glad today that uh, Emmanuel Ekbogo has been very factual when he acknowledged the functionality of the OCMO power plant. 
The same way, immediately after the elections, when I go to came on ITV, I am asking the question: Why are they saying it is those places that are going to be closed? I am not saying it is working. I am saying why? Why is it that they are always saying it is those places? Why are they not using it to light up the streets? That's what we are saying. Okay. So thank you, thank you, I am mute. I am going to mute you. Thank you. Is asking why. Well, you know, I to speak now. now you have to start my time again. And please, Imanaibo, give me time to speak. Now, whichever way, Imanaibo has openly acknowledged the fact that the Osioma power plant is in existence. And that they needed to use it to power the street light. Imanaibo, in the course of this debate, openly agreed that it poles and the street light provided is still lying there on ground, whereas as we speak, Ring Road and other territories have received a new facelift in respect to this street lighting. And we expect the opacity to be very, very fast in ensuring this. Now, Emmanuel Ibogu has been blasting the executive government of the Dostin based on political reasons. And luckily for us, a few days back, a few weeks, the likes of Shaba came online to say, he said, Yamu Imanai Bogu supported stone money designed for them for campaign. And to date, Imanai Bogu has not called on him to return public funds. If that kind of person is given opportunity to become governor, what will happen? That is another way around. Then Imanai Bogu talked about 5 billion naira uh, allocation to the state. Ask Imanai Bogu, how is government being run? What is the cost of your current expenditure? And what is the cost for capital projects? As we speak, the only money that the state is holding pensioners are those backlog led by Adam Skoshomule's administration. And we know that government is continuing. Obaseki must take responsibility to pay off those backlog. We know the amount of debt that the Oshomule administration led for the government of the two states, and which today we are still addressing. That is that. Then, Imanai Bogu ask, what is the government using this money for? Can Imanai Bogu tell us the strength of the Edo civil service? Can Imanai Bogu tell us the strength of those who benefit immensely from the state government's payroll? Now, it is enough for you to talk about 55 billion. Now, the question is, when salary has been paid, how much is remaining? to address the issue of projects. As we speak today, Imanuel Bogu is an APC man. Imanuel Bogu knows quite well that in the Tennessee state of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, virtually all the states have bankrupt. But still, in the door today, the government of Obasaki has not sacked a single worker. The government of Obasaki keeps creating employment in the face of economic imbroglio plaguing the nation. Ask Emmanuel Ibogu, has it taken time to ask what is the mechanism used by the government to address this problem in our society? It is enough for it is not enough for you to talk about the amount of resources. Now, identify how these resources have been properly managed. Now, Emmanuel Ibogu talked about the state house of assembly that has been locked somewhere. Imanuel Ibogu forgot the fact that history is repeating itself today in the new state. Oshomole taught Edo people how to remove roof in the new state house assembly. When Oshomole used just four persons to unseat late Zakawanu Garuba, who was the speaker of the new state house assembly. As we speak, the sum of five billion UBE funds, Oshomole inherited the such fund. He claimed to build red roof revolution. As we speak today, we still have schools that are in the state of Moribon. And the likes of Imanai Bogu is not even ashamed to such or such. After spending five billion without addressing. Now, what will it cost to fix a single school? And how many schools do we have in a those states? Divide it to five billion and see the amount of money or someone left pocketed in his pocket. That is okay. that. But Imanai Bogu have refused. To come out to address this issue. Whereas, Imanuel Agbogu on a daily basis targets the governor as if he is his enemy. I have not said anything. You are telling me one minute? Sir, please give me opportunity. Now, we've talked about the Ronicos. Then he talked about the PPP law. 
in respect to the land grabbing activity. For me, if you ask me that, I will score of Governor Baseki zero in the PPP. Because Governor Baseki openly said that we must fight the land grabbers to the end. I think till now, the PPP law ought to have been, the PPP law is in the system. Those who are supposed to mark the committee are supposed to be in the system. I see no reason why they are delaying about that. But what I want my people to know is this. Let us be fair in our debate. Let us chat in political affiliation. Let's be factual. Emmanuel Ibogu should begin to tell Nigerians what happened to the one dollar to one dollar that he promised. Emmanuel Ibogu should begin to tell Nigeria what happens to Tom David West stated, and I quote, that when President Buhari become president of the country, who will be sold at the cost of 45 naira per liter? What happens to it today? What about one dollar to one dollar? As of today, no diasporans can engage in business in a state in dollars or anywhere in Nigeria because they are going to lose. Has Emmanuel Ibogu addressed these whole issues? Now, the likes of Emmanuel Ibogu was protesting on a daily basis during the Jonathan subsidy removal. We are we're in the streets, but today, has Emmanuel Ibogu led, led a single protest against the Obama the Buhari, even when Emmanuel Ibogu is aware that the citizen is plagued by economic improvement. As we speak today, Imana Ekoko has refused to acknowledge the fact that the state and the country is in pure economic recession created by his government because of lack of proper policy framework. But today, Imana Ekoko is quickly, is very fast in raising the hammer of the law against the government of the two states while he jettes in and continues to romance the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, even in the face of gross economic failure. Now, the truth of the matter is simple. Emmanuel Ibogu talked about borrowing by the state government. Has Emmanuel Ibogu questioned the overwhelming borrowing that the federal government has engaged themselves into to the extent that every Nigeria today is holding the club in international credit to a cost of 60 something thousand naira each as citizens borrowed under the Buhari administration. Under the PDP administration for 16 years, they spent for about 47 trillion. But look at the number of years ruled by the APC. They have spent trillions upon trillions of dollars without anything being achieved. On the daily basis, we continue to borrow. And look at the number of output of oil that we make on the daily What happens to the excess control led by the Jonathan administration? It okay. has been depleted. Now, let us not go to the federal, but what I'm saying is this. Well, I'm going to go to the right. And this analysis should be based on what is on ground and not on political affiliation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, everyone need to wait now because we need to speak to uh, we need to talk to the public right now, okay? Just hold on one minute. Let's speak to the public one one minute. Hello, good evening to you, uh, Mr. Festus. I can see you right there. Go ahead, talk to us. Yeah. Uh, brother, good evening, and uh, good evening, Mr. Emmanuel and uh, Mr. Stalin. Thank you. There's a question I want to ask. I want to ask Mr. Uh, Ibogo and uh, Mr. Stalin. Mr. Emmanuel, it's me, first of all, you know who's talking. But there's something I want to ask you. Do you think that uh, Pastor Isaiah Yamu would have been the better option for the Edo and Obaseki? Okay, that one is for Emmanuel, right? Good question. Good question. Good question. And, uh, and Mr. Stalin, Mr. Stalin, it's me, first of all, you know me. Mr. Stalin, there's something I want to ask you. There's something that you said just now that the paranoid man don't really like that. That uh, the Gilegele support because the Yorubas or uh, Tinubu is coming as the president or uh, is going to be the next president, whether it succeed or not succeed, because of that, the Yorubas will not let the Gilegele support. Okay, succeed. round up, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, before Obaseki started that Gilegele support, he should have known that because that is one of the campaign promises. That is the reason I voted Obaseki. That is the reason I supported Obaseki. It's Gilegele support, industrial park, and the Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, let's quickly talk to somebody else um, now. Hello, my brother. Hello, my brother. Wilfred. Go ahead, my brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's just like uh, three questions for these uh, two gentlemen in your platform there. Okay. Uh, my question goes like this. Uh, can these guys be trusted? be trusted as a politician if voted into any public offices, knowing 
that you know the both parties they both belongs to APC and uh, PDP. They are all widely full of corrupt politicians. Number two, do these guys think this present system of Nigeria of government is favorable to the young youth politicians who wants to vie for public offices, knowing the cost? to run offices is so expensive and the last one is this will these guys also support a campaign to make these public offices less attractive in order for nigerians who are productive who want to go into a governor's uh, public office to be more effective so that we can have the credible leaders will they support that okay mr wilfred mr wilfred i'm not gonna let you go now i wanted to answer this two two minutes before we move on but I want you to wait. Uh, Comrade Stanley, as I'll go to you first. Okay? Can you answer that in two minutes? Okay, which of the questions? Please raise it again because we have two questions. One from Mama Mr. Wifer, raise it again. Yeah, uh, Mr. Uh, I said the first question what? is that can you be trusted as a politician if voted into any public office knowing that it belongs to a PDP right now, PDP has never done this to Okay. All right, that is one. That is one. Hold on, let him answer that. Go ahead. Okay. Mr. Ali. One first minute. And foremost, first and foremost, I'm not perfect, and I'm not going to cajole you to vote for me so that I become. I will enter. I will deceive you to enter into such position. Believe you me, I will try my best to be near perfection, but I can never be perfect. That is That's it. it. And secondly. Secondly, I will be laconic and direct to the point. Secondly, sir, without due respect, the truth of the matter is simple. When you are talking about a hundred percent, if I can deliver seventy percent out of hundred, I believe you are going to give me a pass back. But let me not deceive you and let me not embellish myself. I am not perfect, and I will try my possible best to make sure that I act fairly. Even in election, you don't have free and perfect election. It's called free and fair election. So I will try to make sure that all my dealings is free okay. and fair. But that's not to tell you that I'm going time. to be acting to the point. No. Hold on. We have more questions for you. Go ahead. with uh, uh, My brother, with friend. Go ahead. The second question for him. Or should you go to him? Comrade Emmanuel now. Uh, yeah, please. Comrade Emmanuel, can you also uh, give us your answer on that, please? Okay. Have okay, Comrade Emmanuel. Agbogu, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, can you call and repeat the question again, please? The question, can you be trusted if voted into the pub in any public office? Can you be trusted? Um, because, because you are supporting the corrupt party right now, APC. Because APC and PDP, we know they've never breeded us no good leadership in that Nigeria. So how can we trust you as a young man who is in that party in the nearest future for the less Firstly, I, 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 uh, Mr. Kola, I have heard your question and I want to answer directly. Firstly, right. I cannot be, in, I cannot be in government and uh, and any trust for myself in government. No, my performance will tell other people whether they trust me in government or not. But basically, uh, the character of what we are is what we possess. Uh, for me, I believe it's only one minute. Only one minute, sir. Any any sane youth, any sane youth, any sane youth would not want to tow the path of mistake our fathers have told. And for me, if given a platform to work for my people, I will perform to the best of my ability, diligently, honestly, okay. and transparently. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Wilfred, do you have another question? Your last question. Before yes, I have, okay, uh, I will just take this since I, I already have three questions. Yeah. Okay, uh, how would you guys support to see how we can make this less are these politicians i mean these offices these public offices less attractive because we all know that majority of the time 90 percent of the time politicians run for public offices just because of their selfish interests because of the humongous uh, attractive uh, benefits that they get so do you guys support for us to launch a campaign to make that office less attractive so that we can be okay. able to bring a viable and credible leaders. Okay, let me go back to... Okay, let me go back to Comrade Emmanuel again on this one. Comrade Emmanuel, please, one minute, respond right. to that. Yes, uh, very quickly, there are many areas I would uh, touch if given an opportunity to serve as the executive governor of a state or even a local government. Firstly, 
Firstly, I will criminalize the reckless expenditure of security votes. And I will make a law to uh, give the House of Assembly powers to you know, uh, carry out oversight uh, activities on the expenditure of security votes. Then secondly, I will reduce the recurrent expenditure by 50%, particularly when it has to deal with the overhead running costs uh, of governance, particularly okay. when it has to do with, uh, with the salaries and uh, what so to say, uh, 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 what I call it, uh, uh, allowances okay. and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, VIP, uh, VIP Thank recklessness, you. when you see a uh, buying vehicles, right, why that vehicle is still coming, you give the budgets to buy another vehicle every year. So I would, I would do that. Comrade oh. Emmanuel, your time is up now. Uh, no. Comrade Stanley, please. Go, go straight to the point. Can you answer the okay. same question? Okay, first, I would have... Uh, the truth of the matter is the problem we are having in our society is lack of strong institution. Yes, the individuals are stronger than the institution. But today, we are gradually having strong institutions in the two state. Emmanuel Ibogu can attest to it. Just go to Edochis. No matter how close you are to the government, you cannot manipulate the system. So to me, if I become governor, the first thing I will do is to see how to ensure that the system is more powerful than individual. If you okay. want a grant to work, it's very simple. Check the same favoritism. Okay. Now, Thank you. if I choose, excuse me, sir, if I choose to sanction Niger Watch for doing what is wrong, for an example, do you know how many people will call me out? You know, say Niger Watch now, I'm out. Do you have the strength to stand to say no? Now, for those who have been following us, you know my person. If you are wrong, I will tell you you are wrong. If you are right, I will tell you you are right. Follow us through the debate. I understand that my mom is telling you There are three areas where the government has not meet up with the I do not say they have meet up 100%. No, there are three areas where the government has meet up with the people that they have not seen. So if you want a better society, a better institution to be created. Thank you. Go ahead. We have 30 seconds. Mr. This present system of Nigeria is favorable, is sustainable to the young Nigeria youth. Do you think it's sustainable? This present system that is everyone knows that it's not sustainable, it is okay, not sustainable at all. Because, it's not sustainable because at all. first, first a system they say is, is the collection of parts or events that can be seen as a single thing due to the interdependent and interaction of those okay. parts or events. Thank you, Mr. As we speak, as we see today, the constitution we have in this country is a military constitution. How many individuals have an impute in this constitution? The constitution was sought to us. If you want a better oh, Nigeria, oh, they will give room for Nigerians to build a constitution that okay. will fit into the interest of Nigerians and not the one inherited. Oh, Stanley, by we're moving on now. The largest out of 1978, the largest out of 1978 was a military decree. But today, it is not seen as an act. It is not seen okay. as a law. Talking the youth this plan. Thank you. Because of time, we need to round up in 15 minutes. Now, the time we have now is for callers. Okay? Uh, go ahead, sir. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Uh, I, want, I want these two gentlemen to tell us how we can uh, um, solve the problem of security okay. in those state and how we can solve the problem of food Security is very important. Food security and security in physical terms. Okay. Please. All right. Thank you. Um, I'll come. Okay. How do we sort out the food security and the general security in the those state? I'll go back to uh, Comrade Emmanuel Agbogu. <laughs> uh, please unmute yourself, Comrade Emmanuel. Unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, okay, I can hear you now. Yeah, a very quick one. Uh, one of the ways we can actually change the narrative of uh, <laughs> of uh, solving this uh, the issue of food insecurity uh, in the country or rather in our state is to annex 
borrowings like the 70 billion naira that was accrued to uh, those states via the application of uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki for the agro. 70 billion naira that was borrowed from the uh, 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 central bank. Now, that money should go directly to the local farmers. Now, one uh, minute, sir. One minute. And, and also, Oh, we, lo we lost the network affected there. Okay, Comrade, uh, Comrade Stanley. Okay, I, I guess we have him back now. Emmanuel, can you hear me? Okay, your network is not pleasing right now. Okay, Comrade Stanley, please, can you answer that in one minute? Yes, one of the ways we can ensure food security in our state is to first of all create a database management system where every farmer, since here from we have two types of farming, we have the micro and the macro, what you people call commercial and so as the case may be. Then you, you have database of all these farmers, they create a banking system. That can give these people direct loans where government will have mechanism of assessment to know how systems will are because we've seen cases where federal government and state dish out money claiming to, to give agriculture, give boost to agriculture, whereas politicians are taking resources to their room. Now, when we talk about agriculture, it is not about planting alone. There are people who engage themselves in animal husbandry. There are people who engage themselves in fishery, those who engage in all other agrarian activity. When you have this database and you have been able to put in resources, there will be return okay. on investment let's talk, and the number of food security will be guaranteed. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have a caller right here. Uh, hello, sir. You are calling back again. Go ahead. You have one minute, sir. One minute. Hello. Turn down your system hello, now. Hello. hello. Uh, this question is for Captain Okozi again. Okay. It's just two questions. I'm I will not ask a question, sir. I will not ask a question, please. Sorry, I'm on live, but I will not answer this question. I have my okay, sir. You said because you were rude earlier on, he's not going to answer your question. That's how he is. No, no, no. Don't do that to me. Okay. Go ahead with your question. Was I rude? Yes. Uh, yes. Everybody said you were rude, sir. No, not rude. When I said it, we're uh, okay. Uh, just go ahead, sir. We don't have time. What's your question? Where is Abatobaze? Why we are not talking about Abatobaze, yes, sir. And uh, the second question we are talking is... about the, the 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 state now. We are not talking about individual. Yeah, what I try me to say is that uh, for some time now we've not been seeing the coming up with support. If the governor can come out to address us, then he today should be able to tell us what is really happening then anyway let's drop that the second question is yeah is the if house fighting in pdp affecting the performance of our governor okay good i like that let me let me finish that thank you very much sir okay. all right first i want to say this clearly uh yes. i know a part very well and uh, he's quick to get us to i think i can quote about Obaz's phone number to him so that I can call him to know where Abad Obaze is. I am not in no, that position. The last position. question. The and last the question. Right now the between the, the political members. Fighting. Is he affecting the governor's performance? Yes. The last question in respect to the political infighting in the PDP. Believe you me, sir, without due respect, I have stated it before. Governor Obaze has no reason whatsoever to think that uh, this one is distracting me. Let him go to work. And work. So whether there are distractions or no distractions, to me, I don't see that as an excuse. Okay. But what I'm only calling for is for us to wait for the governor to be our judge in the uh, at the end of his term. Okay. okay, hold on. Hello. Yeah, good evening to you. Your name and where you are calling us from. Yeah, this is Prince Jerry. Good evening, my brother. Thank you very much, Prince Jerry. Go ahead, sir. One minute. We are rounding up. One minute. I want, I want, I want to ask Osama Okorokwede. Okay. Question one. Can you, can you tell me how many a five work that all have committed? No, no. Commission or commission. Oh, commission. We have done that before, sir. 
we, we, we've passed that. We've passed that. Okay, I have another one. Can, can you tell me, if out of the 36 states, any states that have given uh, uh, the state uh, take care of care for, for us right now, for the, this state? Okay, okay, no problem. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, good evening to you. Your name and where you are calling us from. What's your name? Quiet. Yes, sir. My name is Saturday, sir. I'm very... Do you have one minute, sir? Mr. Saturday, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, in this minute, I will make it. So, you're very short. May our ancestors bless you. Thank you, sir. Our ancestors, sir. Thank you. I'm too... I'm too... You're my love. My sweet is a very special you make a way. That's why I live here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Your minute is running out. Okay, so, uh, Mr. Sanofudu, sorry, Mr. Sanofudu is a nice guy, and uh, Agbogu is a nice guy, and I want me to also carry him, this guy come, this scholar, uh, Dr. Yimbele. Okay, you don't have a question, sir. Uh, I have a question. That is the Auchi, uh, sorry, the Auchi airport should be cancelled. Let them repair that Auchi road. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Comrade Stanley, please, you people should repair Auchi road. Uh, go ahead, sir. Talk to me, your name and where you're calling us from. Auchi road is a federal road. My, my, my name, my name is you take your right to Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I, have a, I have a quick question for Emmanuel Agbogu, please. For Emmanuel Agbogu this time, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to ask Emmanuel Agbogu one question. Uh, why is it that uh, Emmanuel Agbogu and some of the people also criticizing the government, why are they so obsessed with new projects? Is it that is it that it is only new because they seem to be always asking about project new project? It, don't they, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it is it is it only by new? Projects? You already asked your question, sir. Also, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, it's not possible for a government to also to also continue and rebuild abandoned projects. A con a continuity, right? Yes, continuity. Why? But he seems to be so. They seem to be so obsessed with new projects. Okay. Project, new projects. I will I ask him why. when we have him back. I will ask him. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. We have um yeah. hello, Mr. Jeremy. Go ahead, sir. You have one minute to talk to us. I think we lost you right there. I bad you. Hello, Mr. Jeremy. Go ahead. You have one minute, sir. Go ahead. One minute. Hello, sir. No, you have one minute. Just go ahead, sir. We don't have time. Okay. That uh, from the beginning, what uh, Musafir Nkuru no said that uh, this man, this man will this man form to be, become the next president. Tinubu, is that true? That Agbogu is supporting Tinubu to come. To okay. Come we just lost Agbogu now. Uh, I will ask him when I he comes back. Okay. When when he come back, I'll ask him. Imano Agbogu openly told me today. That Tunubu is the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I ask him, when will you become president? So Iman Agbogu says so. Put him online. I want to tell you now. He's here. Let him come. Uh, that was what okay. he told me. He wants to bring another old man to us. When we, when we are regretting what we have achieved, as the president hopefully said, if I wish I was young, I would have been able to perform. I have nothing to say again. I want... Call him. Okay. Hello. Hello, uh, Mr. Pius. Talk to me. Good evening, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Pius. Uh, yeah, Nigeria. Well, thank you very much. I want to ask uh, Emmanuel Bogun and uh, hey, Stanley. Of of you don't have Emmanuel Bogun here on the screen anymore. So a lot of people oh, okay. Have yeah. Questions to him. Uh, okay, sir. I want to uh, cause the people in Europe here, the diaspora. You see what they are, the confusion they are bringing to the to the Edo people. How can Edo people unite together? I want to ask Emmanuel Bugan uh, Osano Kudi because I see the Edo people they can never unite together. Because okay, you see our elders in the in, in our elders, okay, sir. They are your, the problem we have with this Euro, the way they talk. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Okay, Commissioner Stanley Osano Kudi. Before we have uh, Emmanuel Bugan back again, how do you think that? Edo people, yes, to, to, to be fact, how do you want them to unite together? Because for me, I know there's no uti unity within us. What can you say about that? No, ordinarily, if you want development to really prevail in a society such as ours, 
you must not crave for 100% unity. Only where you need unity is when an issue centers on public interest. Okay. Like an example, Edo right. is being attacked or Nigeria is being attacked. It is expedient that all citizens must come together to defend Nigeria. But in a situation good in a situation where you have politics and administration, if there are no likes of Emmanuel Bogu and others who will come out to criticize this government, believe me, the government may perform, but not up to what is expected of government. So opposition is needed to build the better. Opposition is not an enmity. You agree to the fact that before we agreed on this debate today, myself and Emmanuel Ibogu was in my car when we called him to say we want this debate to come in. We are friends. We interact on a daily basis, but we share different political interests. Now, the truth of the matter is simple. During the elections, I ran away from Emmanuel Ibogu because I would not want to use statements because I am fighting to make sure that my candidate wins. The same way Manai Bobu is fighting to make sure his candidate wins. I will not want to use statements that will affect our relationship in the future. So I ran away from him. Why he was willing to deliver at all costs. But I was being no very, class. very careful. So my point being made very clear. We needed yeah. an opposition. But opposition must recognize the fact that opposition ship is not enmity. It is geared towards building a sustainable society and to put government right. on its toes and not to create direct enemy as a person. Thank you. Hello, good evening to you again, um, Mr. Jeremy. Go ahead. Hold on, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait on. So, what I want to contribute regarding this, uh, the question I asked, yeah. this man is not there yet, he's nowhere to be found. Google, maybe his network yeah. is giving a problem. So, what I want to ask. I don't know why people, those myopic people, called uh, some gullible people in Nigeria should be agitating for, the, for this most corrupt individual that I ever lived, Tinubu, to become the next president. I can talk that. I don't know how people will be saying that. Like, when you said you are. No, I wish he's here like, now to answer that, but it's not your fortunate he's not here. He cannot, he cannot be a comrade supporting such people like Tinubu. But you have not said that, sir. You have not said that on air. No, 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 no. He was not here when Kavristali said it. He was not here. He was there from the beginning of, of the debate. I heard when Stalin said, okay. he just said that the next president will be to know He didn't Okay. I heard him saying it. Okay. So I, 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 can, I can such person like I will say that. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good evening to you. Your name and where you are calling us from. Go ahead. So, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Kuno, what is, my brother? You know, please, Aoki Road, the people that are living there are not federal. They are not house people living there. They are the people living there. Okay. Thank you, sir. You said it before. No, no, I have one minute. They should finish the No, you don't have one minute. You have 30 seconds. Go ahead, you called before. Please, give me some minutes. Give me some minutes, I want to use myself. Please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. All right. Um, all right. Um, my brother, Emmanuel Bogo, you are back again. Can you hear me? Yeah, sorry. I want to apologize for not being around. Uh, my batteries were getting flat. You know, we've been live for over two hours. So my batteries are getting flat. I had to switch over to my uh, power bank and uh, change phones. So that's why... Thank you for coming back. Uh, Thank you for coming back. There are a series of questions for you, but the number one... Is... Is... You know, right? Who wants to bring back to the move as president? That was okay, what I said. That's what I want to ask him now. That's what I want to ask him now. Um, comrade, I'm going to go on. Can you publicly tell us that you want Tinubu to become the next president of Nigeria? Um, well, um, Tinubu becoming the next <laughs> president of Nigeria to me lies solely on the hands of the electorate. 
Well, sir, today I think he's one of those people who are who are flexing muscles to become president of this country. And Nigeria is a country whereby the electionary process are you supporting him or not? Is being driven by by resources, and Tinubu has that resources, you know, in uh, in, in excess. And I think uh, that alone uh, gives him a, a higher chance. Uh, for me. It is not my position for him. I, looking at the the position he has created in the Lagos state government, whether you like it or not, uh, uh, Lagos is far ahead of any other states in this country, not just because they enjoy larger resources, but because they have some level of offered leadership to themselves to change the narrative. Today, everybody is running to Lagos. Everybody wants to live in Lekki. Everybody wants to live in, uh, in Aja. Everybody wants to live in those areas that are fast developing. It is solely because of the echo and Tinubu drive that has, you know, uh, uh, been uh, put to play over the years. And I think if Tinubu is given an, a, a platform, I believe he will do far more better, far more better. Because whether you like it or not, the the political elites, the political elites, are not willing to give we the youth chance. And the truth here be said. But I know we are sitting around the bush. Are you supporting Tinubu or not? My brother, are you the umpire in this? Uh, <laughs> you are laughing. <laughs> are you the umpire in this uh, 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 debate? <laughs> are you the you umpire? Have a question for both of you. Okay, hold on. I have a caller. I have a caller. Hello, go ahead, Mr. Israel. If, if yes, you uh, to let me see. We the electorate, it is time for us to listen. Listen to this very question carefully, and you will know that the state where we are now, the country where we are now, your franchise does not count. From the way Emmanuel Bogun has answered this question, he has not answered yes or no. That was a direct question. And those people, you have to listen. You cannot have some people that have been cajoling and cajoling all this. Is it not time? I want to make this question clear to both. Is it not time for both parties? Because to me, to us, who that are independents, we have not seen the dividend of democracy ever since we were born in that country. Since 1960, that the democracy that was being created by our people fathers, it has nothing to write home about in our country. Do you want youth governance to govern instead of having this recycling government for us? Okay. Because we are That's tired it. of you guys. Okay. Let Liman Agbo go answer that. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Well, um, 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 I really did not start up with that caller, but let me let me educate the caller on something here. You see, Liman Agbo, you cannot educate the caller. Are you supporting Tinubu or not? First, answer that clearly. Here, as I'm going to go there, I am supporting Tinubu. Are you okay, okay. with that? Go ahead, yes, I'm cool now. Go ahead. So people should know what you are standing for. Go ahead. Okay now, okay now, okay now. Let me let me educate you on one thing. Now, with the youth in this part of the world, there are two major things that we lack. First of all, we lack unity, and secondly, we lack trust. I put it to you that if it had to be a big brother Nigerian contest that is being put forward before us, you see Nigerian youth making donations. To support the process. Polit oh, the network again. Very sad. I think we need to round up now. We need to round up now. Yes, uh, uh, I want to say this. Omo Ele Showore started the AAC. And as of today, since the advent or since after the uh, 2019 presidential election, where he contested as a, a presidential candidate. Have you ever seen them hold any formidable political program or contest in any other political elections that are taking place in the country? The answer is no. The truth be said, before talking about changing or recycling the political system, you must first of all build a political institution that can adopt or absorb the new era of political uh, uh, you know, uh, transition you want to bring in, as the case may be. And do not forget, the political system in Nigeria has to deal with a multi-ethnic society where everybody wants their people to be in the front, where everybody wants their people to, to go all out and ensure they win everything over to them. So these are the positions. Not until when okay. we address this issue, 
uh, it is very easy to talking is cheap, but to actualize it is very expensive. So not until when we understand where the issues are, we are going nowhere. For me, for me, I do not support political party in this country. I support individuals. Uh, and I'm two, always consistent with that. Two, as two, as, two, as two, you see me, two, I I'm in the last two, two, election. And I repeated it again and again. And that is me for you. I don't believe in political parties in this country. I believe oh, in individuals. Answer, answer, answer. Just like the PDP oh. and WIKE oh. in River State and the PDP and Obasek in Edo State. Those Thank are the individual factors I speak I about. Thank you very much. Thank you, Manuel Gobu. You are a great man of inestimable value, and I'm glad this evening that you have hopefully told the young people where you, stand, where, you stood, where you stand. And uh, it's also true that uh, with this debate, I told you all before that Manuel Gobu is playing politics and is not being factual based on what he's supporting. Now, Manuel Gobu actually lacks good sense of history and good sense of judgment in respect to what is obtainable in Lagos. Imanai Ibogu has the development in Lagos to Tinubu. Imanai Ibogu failed to understand that the first ever capital of the Federal Republic of Nigeria started from, from, from Lagos. And that Lagos was built by the British administration. As we speak, all the flyovers in that place were built by the British. Not of the recently when new one begins to come into play. Now, Emmanuel Ibogu has cried the uh, island, the lowland, all development to Tinubu. Let's be sincere. As we speak, is Emmanuel Ibogu telling me that he's not aware that Tinubu is the richest landlord in the whole of West Africa? How did he make his money? How much was his salary as governor? And how much was his salary? Where did he work before he became governor? Let's look at all these. Now, you are coming here uh, to support uh, Tinubu. Uh, the man who is uh, coming uh, with pulling uh, back from state to state to reach the nation. My brother, Nanja Ward. Let me know. Nanja Ward, I, I must say something. <laughs> oh, Sakuno, what did I say? You know, 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 that will put him in the corridor of power. We know we know that very well. And and Imagine secondly again, Imagine secondly again, me, let me see. Imagine, excuse me, sir. I must commend you, sir. We are discussing now. The truth of the matter is simple. As I'm here now, I think that that was to end this debate because I will keep laughing because I know with the both of us that are talking okay. here, we know ourselves. So, Imagine, okay. I will please support. Okay. The right candidate. Hold on, Do guys. not bring Hold in on, a guys. plan. Why are you advising taking, of Basaki? I'm taking just two calls and we are not I, 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 I will support the right candidate, but not the candidate that will win and perform like Obaseki. I will not, uh, I will not support that kind of candidate. So, what and, what and, do you think you're going to do? Secondly, when will you again, become president to become president of this country? When will you become president, Madai Goku? This was what prompted this debate today. And I openly accused you to be a you the issue of killing God for that is in those states. The issue of killing God for that is in those states is what has brought us to this uh, to this political uh, uh, uncertainty that we are finding ourselves. Not until we begin to tell ourselves the truth, we will not achieve anything. Today, as Edo people, we lost a position that was very, 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 very potential to us. That saw the first ever NDC chairman emerging from Edo state that the governor truncated. Today. We are, we, are, we are still dealing with that loss, and we are yet to come out of it. Not to, not to talk about that alone. Today, we are still, uh, we are still uh, uh, looking forward you know, to a PDP that is supposed to be performing like that of Edo State, like that of a uh, uh, River State, like that of a uh, uh, Boy State, okay. like that of a uh, uh, Cross River State. But what are we expecting today? Yeah, that we can thank you in the name of God. Do not impose Tunubu on Nigerians. Please, Imanai, okay, please. Okay, please. Okay, please. Let me I tell you, you, let me tell you, the angel you know, the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. That let me Tunubu tell you something. Obaseki Obase emerged from nowhere because of Adam Sushumuli. Forgetting the likes of Odubu, forgetting the likes of Odubu. It's not the whole of our debate, Imanai Gugu. I have anywhere I notice Obaseki needs to perform. Can we have a now? I have never paid it to say he has. Not, I didn't give up. I was the first to say fifty percent. After this debate, 
Osakunokoni, after this debate, I want you to settle down to look at your statements and find out if you try to match it with reality on ground. Be very obvious to yourself. Obaseki is failing. This is this is Biniagbo Road. I came out to show you. This is the road bringing investors in and out of Edo State. You see how dark it is? This is my street. What but is made of Who owns Who owns the 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 the road that we can put this let me tell you let me put uh, uh, let me tell you let me 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 why is Obaseki going to to go to renovate or so to say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a two-way road. When he went to see Buari, why didn't he introduce that road to Buari? Hold on, hold on. My brother, I keep telling you, let's manage that. You, you, you talk as if you talk as if you are talking to 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 we have trunk A, trunk B, okay. and trunk C road in the country. Trunk A road is managed, maintained, and constructed by the federal government. You are talking to know that, including yourself. But this is what I'm saying. Oshomole was in was in ETN. He put like a trunk A road. Is it Buari that is passing the road? Is it Buari? My brother, do not, uh, do not, do not uh, distract us from the subject of discussion. Hold on, I'm, I'm coming now. Hold on, Manuel. Is Ring Road where Obaseki has put street lights? Is Ring Road a, 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 a state government owned road? Hold on, on now. Can you see Ring Road? Is Ring Road where Obaseki has put street lights? No, man. Is Ring Road where Obaseki has put street lights? Is Ring Road where Obaseki has put street lights? Is Ring Road where Obaseki if you answer okay, the number I, I, I will remain calm. Is Ring Road a trunk A road? Okay, let him answer it. Okay, let him answer it. Hold on, let him answer it. Fine. First, when the Ring Road is a is a trunk B road, the rest not yes, a trunk road. Is Ring Road a trunk B road? Is a trunk B road? No A. Now let me tell you. Which government? Ring which government? Ring government, 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 it is considered as what we call the central business district of your city, CBD, central business district of your city. Oh, Sakuno Godin, go and check oh, on now. You to know, you check. You know, the city this is not the Let me this teach you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Emmanuel. Now, the ring road of the state is the CBD, and now you have the foot road. It's a torpedo. You have uh, one road of this road, maybe to a common road. They are from zero. They are from zero. They are from zero. It's also going to go to store. You are on media. Stop deceiving the dope people. It's not my market. I noticed that. In you know this. I'm asking you. It's not my market from zero. I'm asking you. It's not my market from zero. Now, if we have okay, I want to answer now. Hold on, a Rama Park is still a trunk road, and it is not as good as Konobuso. That's total lie. That's listen to lie. Okay, let me lie. Let me lie. Let me lie. Let me lie. You correct me, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, when we have a road of Konobuso, I will explain this with a theory known as the cross hole theory. Or the central place theory. Listen, Emmanuel Ibogu. When it comes to city development, when it comes to issue of landed activity, you know it by profession. Now listen. Now, a growth pool is a developmental style that gives room for city development when you have an expansion. 
Now, those who in the past, Ring Road was considered as a central business district because the population density of the settlement has not expanded to what we have today. In the past, those who live in Bobai sees Ring Road as the city center. But today, people now live in Ohio. People now live in Okese. And those who live in Okese cannot travel from there to Ring Road. They now see Rama Park as their central business district. That's why you are seeing what you have in Ring Road is now in Rama Park. It is called a growth okay. port. Yeah. Yeah. We have a caller. Tomorrow, tomorrow, when, when, we have a caller. When we see the proof of Green Road and, and, and Rama Park, we are going to have a caller. Hello, go ahead, sir. Evis, yes, sir. Evis, go ahead. Can you please, I want to contribute very important. Go ahead, important, sir. Go ahead, uh, we are listening to you. Go ahead. Yeah, I want Imalwe Agogu, Imalwe Agogu, or whatever, whatever I call He said, he said that when it comes to Tinubu, Tinubu has got the resources. Has Tinubu do a proper job in his life? And he said he's educating uh, Israel. Has this man, Emmanuel Agbogu, has he lived in Lagos before? Lagos State was the capital of Nigeria. It was anything that is done, anything that is, is in place in Lagos State, there are previous president, previous governor, who, who, who stampede their, hump, their footprint in there. It's not Tinubu. Tell me one, one thing. Okay. Tinubu All right. brought to Lagos. Thank that you, guy sir. is just talking rubbish. No. No. Thank you, it's sir. It's self-centered. I Th don't know the kind of... Uh, <laughs> All right. I'll stop that. Um, hello. Please leave you, your name and where you're calling us from. Please, hold on, please. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Please, I would like to invest a little bit and uh, ask uh, my brother comrade uh, Stanley a question. Okay, comrade Stanley. To, yeah, relating to um, our brother being elect, uh, made as the new APC youth leader since uh, both of them are youth. Please, I want you to... Go ahead, sir. Uh, you are wasting your time, sir. Just go ahead. That is my question. Let me into what, what is the reaction uh, based on Tony's new appointment as a new... Okay, that is for Comrade uh, Stanley, right? Yes, okay, Sorry, thank yes. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, Comrade Stanley, what's your reaction over the uh, new position for Comrade Tony Kabaka? Everyone knows that Tony Kabaka is a great man. Okay. First. But we will not adjust Tony Kabaka based on academics and based on age. No. I, for one, I believe Tony Kabaka as the APC state youth leader deserve it as an individual because he has worked for the party. But there is even between APC state youth leader and a do state youth leader. So it is his party. I do not have right whatsoever to go against it. But let's be factual. Tony Kabaka, everyone knows him to be a good man. That is the truth. In the past, some of us, we don't like Kabaka in the past. But I will tell you, for those who are close to Kabaka, believe me, that guy moves with the heart of gold. Kaba no, uh, you, if, you, if you recall, Kabaka made a statement in the past, and that statement is confirmed. I don't think there is anybody that have never benefited from Kabaka, either directly or indirectly, in our various localities. Kabaka is a man that moves without sentiment. Everybody is his friend. You could recall, Kabaka was celebrating his daughter's yes. birthday. I was there. I okay. went even for a few days after the elections because I know him as a man that most without sentiment. And because right. of that, he really deserves deserve whatever position is in we, we have another caller. We have another caller. Go ahead, Mr. Israel, please. Be, be quick. Um, uh, sorry, let me just quickly tell Mr. Emmanuel Bogun. Yeah. I don't want him to educate me. I'm old enough to educate myself on how the mantle of leadership should be old. Because for me, I believe that a true comrade remains one person and I've always respected him as my idol, and that is Liz Nelson Mandela, who believes that having the mantle of leadership, if everyone to identify those in need, and those are the poor citizens, who believe that a little boy with a phony name, who believe that that state or that society has a place for him too. I will not be looked at. If Emmanuel Bogum believes on that, what he's saying, 
You should go to you should go to Finland okay. and check who is the prime minister of Finland. That's hold fine. on, hold on, hold on. You should tell me that for me as a youth lead, as a youth person, I will not be celebrating my happy birthday for those who are still called to the past to the past and has put us in this suffering as that of a Bermuda Triangle. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have one person before you respond. Good evening, sir. Go ahead. You have one minute, please. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, one minute. I just want I just had a couple of questions for both for, for, for both the two comrades, oh. Stanley and I go. Okay. Uh, uh, the, uh, just a follow-up on the on the previous question I was asked before Mr. Aish read about his uh, Kabaka's emergence as the APC industry uh, leader. The question I have for both of them is this. Uh, what is because I mean, why am I saying this? What, what is what, what, who do they consider a youth? What, what how do how, who, can they can they both define who a youth is? And okay. What is the age grade of a youth. That's fine. That's yes. fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Come, Stanley. As also I'm gonna hold, I'll come back to you on this first. Can you define what what is the age uh, difference or age gap of a youth? Now, uh, first and foremost, in the Nigerian context. I begin to wonder if there are limitations to the number of age that is supposed to be a youth. But under a normal situation, those who call themselves youth are not supposed to be called a youth. Even to Sakurokodi, some of us are gradually leaving the youthful stage. But today, today, a man with a white hair is dragging or carrying in communities. A man with white hair is claiming youth leaders in political parties. But ordinarily, we have three categories of population. I'm going to talk professionally here. One, from zero, from one to 18 in African context as dependent population. The dependency ratio are those who depends on others to survive. In the African context, from 18, from 18 to 60 is the workforce. Then from 60 and above is still a dependent population. So ordinarily, because of this, we are not seeing 18 to 60 as youth. Whereas in a condified society, at the age of 35, 40, you are supposed to retire from the youthful activity. That's why okay. white men always say, a fool at 40 is a fool. That's right. Forever. I would like Comrade Manuel. Comrade Manuel, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, can you tell me the, 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 the age uh, gap between the youth? Well, um, basically, I will go by uh, research facts here already. The United Nations has described a youth from somebody who is 18 to 35. And I think that's uh, the United Nations uh, uh, okay. stand. And I think that is what is globally accepted. But in this part of Africa, in this part of the world, uh, I don't think uh, we, we go by that ideology. Uh, because of our, uh, our belief as black people, we believe that any man who is energetic, any man who has a vibe of uh, gathering young people can be seen as a youth leader can be seen any man who the youth looks up to to render some form of support or leadership to them can be described as a youth leader. That's the belief. In as much as that man has energy in his bones, that is what we see as youth leader in this part of uh, the world. Uh, having analyzed that, uh, it will be very unfair, Naja Watch, if uh, I do not put this question to Osakuno Kodi. Because he has also asked me, and he raised the factor. If you if you do not observe, let me tell you what he's doing. Having known that he has been squarely dealt with today, on the basis of past, he is trying to use Tinubu to distract you know the audience. I want to ask you yeah, that: will, will you vote for Will you vote for for Atiku Abubakar in no. in 2023 no. election? No, eh? no. You are only playing with the sensitivity of, of the Edo people. Why did you play with the sensitivity? Why did you play with the sensitivity? If you are not voting, if you are not voting for Atiku Abubakar, who is your candidate in the PDP? Okay, who is my candidate in the PDP? Imanaibobu, you are my very close friend, and you no, know I'm me too well. 
we are not talking about for now, sir, in the federal level, I am not playing partisan politics. You are not I am, am, am I playing am I playing partisan politics in the federal level? Yes, you said you are supporting Tunubu as an APC candidate. Yes. Am I am I playing federal politics? You knowing me, am I yes. playing federal politics? Yes, the whole yes. time, the whole time yes. you are you are you are Yes. Well, you want to tell me that I don't know about federal I politics? Want to you cannot ask the question now. You cannot ask the question now. And you say that you don't want, you don't want to go to Ruto Bar, Nigeria. I want to ask the question. Who is your candidate? Let me answer, sir. Who is your candidate? Who is your candidate? I want to answer you, sir. Who is my candidate? It's quite obvious that if you are following suit, because your question was not OBG, in a drug state, I was on defense for so many months. Before I decide to adopt Obaseki. So if you understand the oh. politics, you cannot, you I am going to wait for a second. You are supporting, you are supporting, you are supporting yes. the EPM. We did press conferences together. You were supporting yes, the EPM. Yes, I'm listening. No, no. Don't say, don't say you are on the let press. Me I, 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 let me ask Let me ask that. Let me ask that. I asked a simple way for you to answer this question. They say they we say they say you want us to ask what you want us to ask. And I want to ask. I need to ask. I demand an answer. We cannot even talk about it. Oz Agunokodi, I believe I demand an answer. And I give up to honor. For those who are following me, I said publicly that I fought for Basaki because of stomach infrastructure. Can you say that? I openly said this. Oz Agunokodi, those are your cheap points using using misleading the masses, and you know that, and I know it. Let me ask you a question categorically clear. Let me ask you a question categorically clear. And I believe as a when brother, I a friend, logically, and as, you and as, as, as a comrade, and as a comrade, I am I am always very definite on what I want. I have told you with the, with the present style of politics in Nigeria, I will not hesitate to support Tinibu if he's being given the platform to run. But you are not definite. So where who do you want to run? You want the last minute where you say I have not supported. I am telling you now that Tinibu comes and I will support him. But you are not definite. So who is who is now who is now more of uh, of, uh, of 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 a deceit here? Now let me put it to you now. You are only just waiting to see where you believe that your interests can be accommodated as to the same benefit you were enjoying in the last election. Please, 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 Yes. Well, you, uh, have to, you, know, you, know, you know, have confided in me, so I cannot ask you. Uh, I don't want to do that. But what I'm asking you because I don't know how to do that. What what I don't know how to tell like you know that. What I am asking you now. What I am asking you now is a very direct question. Who am I supporting now? I think you said no. And I ask you, who is your candidate? Do not for now. I have asked you. I don't have anyone yet, but when the all of them showcase themselves, I'm going to pick. Okay, okay. I put it to you now that if Atiku is uh, is giving the PDP ticket, you will you will support Atiku on the basis of benefit. Let me quickly tell you now, in case you don't know what is happening, Atiku cannot even secure the PDP ticket because who told you that? Because the power is the. the uh, I will not want to discuss. Not. I will not want to discuss, discuss about, about that. 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 The, the, the last time when the power was in the north, the was in the north. Do not impose the rule on us. They shifted the election. The man I spoke in the last elections in the two states, we know the role you guys play in ensuring that Atiku and others emerge as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Just recently, because it's a yamu. That was why you said, okay, I'm running to the other divide. You have never opened up that you are a politician, but I've been able to bring you out publicly that you are a member of your political I have said it that's that number. I'm not a Gakari member of any political party. But you told me some few weeks ago that you're a member of any political party. 
to gather knowledge to advance my cause in society. No, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Is it is only a blind man and somebody who, does, who is not factual with issues. I will say that to you. That that you. Democratic Party. Did you tell me that you are a member of the APC? Where, uh, where, uh, where, where did, where did, I said I'm supporting the APC. I, uh, let me tell you something. Osakogodi, let me, Osakogodi, let me tell you something. Anybody, anybody who follows me, know me for who I am. Because before God anybody, and man, I know the point, before this entire media, you openly told me that, 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 that you are a transgender member of your political party. You are, you are before not a dead man. man. Before this Osakogodi. media. I'm a set. I'm a teacher. You openly told me. I want to ask you a question. Why are you denying now? I am a member of the media and I'm an activist. I'm a member of the media and I'm an activist. I'm a member of the media and I'm an activist. Oh, thank you. Listen to me. I said it earlier that I support individuals. I do not support them. No. Did you tell me that you're a member of the media and I'm an activist? I am bound to support him. The reason no. why I said no, 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 no. you are tying away from the truth in a good day is because we are not in a good day. 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 But in your heart, in my life, in your heart, I will want to fear most. I will want to respect most. Didn't you tell me that you are a member of the Progressive Congress? <laughs> come again, come again. <laughs> With what you fear most, with what you respect most, did you, Emmanuel Agbogu, told me publicly that you are a member of the Progressive Congress? Uh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> when you are founding, and I see that this is a payback, uh, this is a payback motive. You can invite me. I asked a very simple question. I asked a very simple question. Who you are is your president? Is it a uh, wiki? Is it a uh, 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 state governor, or is it a uh, uh, Emmanuel Alade cross river state governor? You should be definite to tell me what you want as a member of the PDP, as a member of the People's Democratic Party. Do not forget. Let me tell you something, and I will repeat again. You had once been a member of the APC, only to the fact that you supported Ija Bonaima religiously, and you know me very well. I said it earlier that I follow people on the basis of individualship. I supported, just by the fact that I romance with the APC a lot, I supported Judice Edenye in the last election. That's an individual. You and I knew that we were all on ground to ensure that the results were not changing Western boys. You know all of this. But let me tell you but something. That's the question that I ask you. Let me, no. you are, don't, don't play on it. We are very intelligent to confront it, but like, Google. This question is direct. With what you fear most, with what you respect most, did you tell me that you are a member of the All Progressive Congress? No, I, I never, I never, uh, in a direct answer, I never told you that. Please. Hey! Emmanuel, let the talk as well. To I, me, I, I want to ask you, where was that discussion held? Good. Emmanuel. It where was, was right in a very direct question. Where, where was that discussion held? It was right at your residence. No, you said you are, you are, okay. What time? What time? Please, you have not been to my house or my residence for the past five Imagine months. Imagine, 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 hold on. You are, you see you can you see you now. Last time, Imagine, you, Imagine, Imagine, last time you came Imagine, to my residence Imagine. was the day we had a video on Nigeria Watch over the dispute. In fact, you do not even come into my house, you stopped at the gate and you drove back. Yeah, Imagine, Imagine, you are am, easy. I, am I correct on Imagine, that or not? Imagine, 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 a very grave and deep and in-depth apology to the fact that, that to the fact that you brought in a government that today is not meeting up the expectation and you are failing in order and education to come and out to 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 say for the hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on please allow me to learn but rather you are mm -hmm. wanting to trend on the basis of Emmanuel Ibogun 
only to the fact that on or before this uh, uh, broadcast or on or before this debate, you have never on any platform come out to say that the governor should do what is right or what the governor is doing is wrong. Have you? Now, let me... For those who follow this debate, they know I have identified some gray areas that the government has not performed. And I agree to them and I acknowledge it. Have you ever asked anyone? You can't even be done with somebody. You can't even talk about that. That that surrounds the project we speak about. Do not forget when the governor was also putting transmission lines from Oceanwa Power to the distribution center in GRA. Some of us came out to applaud him. Do not forget. And in areas where the governor has done well, we also come out. I came out at some point to tell other people to support Awilo before he had issues with the police that he was doing a great job as to security. Is that not commending the governor? Or is it not when I begin to shout hallelujah like the way you people do? That you think I am commanding the governor? No. Can we round up now? Can we round up now? Thank you very much for your eloquent submission. But I think it is very proper for us to openly own up to what we believe in. You are a member of the All Progressive Congress. You are not supporting candidate. You can, you can say much about me the same way I can say much about you. What has my membership of the APT? What has my membership of the APT got to do with this? I want to answer you now. Okay, it's a question. It's a question. Let me answer that. Can you be a judge in your case? I want to answer your question. Now, the reason why, no, no matter what a party it does, the reason why Obaseki will never do what is right in your face is because you are a member of the Progressive Congress. That is one. And secondly, even before the one year, immediately the 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 date. Leave that aside. But what I'm saying, the, the debate is getting to its climax, and I want all the people to understand something. What we are saying here is just a mere debate. In fact, the discussion started in my car today. Before we called on Nigeria to bring us online, nobody should see it as a phone. Oh, in fact, our relationship is synonymous. I told you earlier today that eh, the governor, you cannot tell me that the governor is engaging me. That was the issue of this discussion. And I made you to understand that, in as much as the governor went to renovate uh, 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 the courts, does that mean that he will say that he has created employment for lawyers? It's not because Basaki makes the sea of office. It's because they know me. So let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, my brother. Can I tell you something? Okay. I don't come for work. That was a number. I have told you that was a number. I have told you guys that number that okay. in the course of discussing issues that affect the people, always come up play. Do not do not play this your rhetoric uh, uh, approach to matters. Once again, okay. Nigeria Watch, having spoken extensively with you on your platform today, I believe that people can see the current state of issues in the state. And I also want to beg other people. I also want to beg other people, please. In as in much as for your political party, we have a member of the government. They will not kill you. Okay. You need to round up now. I want to thank you all for listening to us. I can no longer, we can no longer continue arguing. In my book, I myself, we both know the truth, but it's here to defend itself on the media. Okay. But let's okay. that aside. Let's Stanley, I want to say very much thank you to you all. Comrade Com Stanley, I appreciate your time with us today. To be honest, I deliberately give you guys that time to argue with yourself. Yes. Okay? I, you know, I don't. I, I never wanted to interrupt you guys. I just wanted to see what you guys want to tell yourself. So my contributors, my callers, I understand a lot of people. I couldn't pick their course today. I, I, I apologize for that. We, 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 
we mm -hmm. couldn't talk to anyone because the time was not permissible. So please, next time we will do more. And uh, those on the comment section, I want to applaud every one of you. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys have been so persistent. You guys started from beginning to, to right this moment. You'll be commenting, and I can see all of your comments right there. Thank you very much. Uh, comrade Emmanuel Agbogo, I appreciate you so very much, and you know that. Uh, comrade Stalios, I appreciate you so very much, and you know that. You guys are my team, and uh, I want to uh, urge you guys, please, 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 when you see what is right, please. Talk about it. When you see what is wrong, also talk about it. Don't support these devilish politicians and use it to suffocate the commoners like us. You know, for me, I'm not a supporter of any of these politicians at all. I don't support any of the parties and I will never support any of them because especially these two major ones, PDP and APC, they are the biggest problems we have thank you thank you very much the the from pdp and nroc to pdp uh, 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 sdp and nroc to pdp and apc so we don't know what they are going to convert themselves to again tomorrow thank you very much hey, man, I hope we will always remember this uh, mko cafe song so more money at yeah, the get now so so transport the kill them so more water with the drink now so so the feed the full up no work no school, no road, my brother. <laughs> what did you get to go? When is 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 when I said, so no matter what you're doing, I'm going to smoke you out of your hiding. And I think I'm not going to smoke you out. You are not breathing the truth of that. I know you are an orator. But the truth be said here. The truth be said here. Channel your, channel your position to advance the cause of everyone in Edo State. You are only... A, look at the way you are looking so fat and robust after the election. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. You see, I, I said that I'm going to be playing from beginning to the end, and I'm playing. So none of <laughs> any of you here... It's been a nice session, and I think everybody has been giving a right to fair hearing. Yes. Well, Sakuna Kodi, please, 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 please. Make sure you, allow, you, make sure you let Nigerians know who is your candidate now. Tinibu is my own, who is your own? Okay, very soon, I'm going to very soon I'm going to display. Very soon I'm going to display. I'm going to display the election. No, come again. I must follow up. You know, I did a full ear for this mic. It feel like that uh, cartoon when they talk. Wait, what are you talking? You talk after me. When my right book was, I go full ear now. He goes, my brother, it's over. You are a great one. My battery, I'm talking on a battery of 2%. You know, uh, my battery is just two percent. Uh so my, my volume can ordinarily ought to come down. Now? My my battery is on silver mood. Okay, can we say good night now? Yeah, good night, good night. Okay, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. please don't bring in Tunubu, sir. Keep your ear, sir. Can't you hear without bringing yeah, your ear? The same way the same way you brought up Baseki. The same way you brought the Baseki, please go and ensure yeah. Baseki perform. Like that one. Like that one. Let yeah. me fact you up. Okay. I was, I I was expecting somebody like I, I was I expecting you. I was expecting you to make a statement. I, I, said, I, said, like that one. I said, no matter the antics of this guy today, the world will know his political party. I'm going to smoke him out. Where is ID? And in my right book, I will smoke him out. I have, I have made you understand something. It is only people that don't follow me. During the answers, if you say I'm an APC man, during the answers, we champion Buari must go. We change the slogan of the answers from answers to Buari must go. And you know how that drove. So let me tell you the truth. I, I do not support I do not support people on the basis of party. I support individual. And no, you, are, you are the same people. You are the same people. I know. 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 I know
that Isayamu would come out as the next governor. I said, you don't understand politics. There's no way Isayamu can rule a do state. And I told you, the power, is either the power is taken to a do central. Well, uh, Isayamu has not declared his intention, but I told you today, I was the so all your criticism is to bastardize the image of the governor so that you can bring in your candidate into power. But for some of us, we will vehemently resist that. Oh. If the governor is working, if the governor is working, why would the governor give me reason? Even if the governor is working, you will never see your bastardizer as performing governor. No, that means, that means you're also contradicting yourself. Do not forget on, on ITV, on ITV debate, TMI, you made mention of the fact that I was even part of those people who, who were applauding the governor for us more. Have you forgotten so soon? I'm yes. not a biased mind. You did but not listen. listen. He 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 side, he from the bad side of a basket. You did not fully acknowledge me. He said to your advantage of that to explain that now an opposition member has agreed that your Siamo power plant is, is functional. You did not fully agree. You eat fat from your mouth, and I oh, put it big. I, 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 I asked a question. I asked a question on Sakuno Kodi. I asked a very simple question, just like what your friend, uh, your colleague, uh, Sarah Okumbo said on, on social media, that uh, the governor is not powering streetlights uh, with uh, with Osimo power. And I asked the question, Osimo power, are you sure? He said yes. And I asked on that question, where is the transmission line? And where is the distribution line and the step down that this is stepping up? Let us go and know if it's working. Are you aware? I have been, I have been with the NCAT committee. The where the government of Nigeria, Nigeria has spent over $58 billion in power to date no life. What have you said about that, Emmanuel? Oh, my brother. My brother, that means Osakuno Godin. It shocks me that you are asking me this question. You should know that I'm one man. Go, go just take your time. Take your time and listen to all my debates against President Mohamed Buhari's performance. I have always called him to be a failure. I'm not hiding my mouth. I'm saying it again. I have called Buhari to always be a failure. And I've said it times with that number. Okay. Even uh, I, I'm not supposed to I, I don't want to leave you online. I have my reason. So let the debater, the moderator, decide. <laughs> no. Okay. You don't, you don't want to leave me online. I am going to... <laughs> I am going to leave you online. Now you know what? <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, my people. I appreciate your time with us today. One thing I'm going to assure you, especially Congress Azos in the next couple of months, maybe three months from now, we are bringing you back again because we are checkmating Governor Obaseki. When he's performing, I want you to be keeping the record. Because very good. People, very, people like Manu, very good. Very good. Many very good. 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 And before going tomorrow morning, I'll go and show you the kind of substandard road. Now it has become substandard. You know that it's substandard. It's okay now. It has become substandard. Iman Aibogun, give this government a time, a chance. I believe. Let me not conclude for now. But please, don't be I'm holding this government now. Am I stopping the allocation from Abuja? Or am I telling I'm only criticizing the government. That is expected of me as an opposition. What you are only trying to tell me that I should compromise, and I will not stand for that. Criticism no. is by an ingredient in any democracy. Even when your network was bad, bad. I should not say the way you know are not bad. Excuse me, sir. When your network was bad, I said something. Please, 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 uh, when we went online, I said something. I said a, a, a structural opposition is a veritable tool to ensure that government is placed on its toes. Why did you say that was online? You, to you, want, to, you want to score the political points. Why did you say this when I was online? 
No, because I'm Comrade Stanley. Comrade Stanley, um, I'm Gwilis. Comrade Stanley, you can hear me. Yes, Alana, that was yes, to please. Comrade Stanley, can you hear me? I I want yes, you, I want you at least within that the next four weeks. Can you yourself, because you'll be doing it before, ded dedicate yourself to go record at least five or more of the project that the government is currently... It must be me, because there's I can just say it to me, because there's no location. It is not Alfred Uyunosa's war. Go there and see. No, 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 no. No, not Alfred Uyunosa. You go there and do it. I it's want because there's no location. It's not there's no location. I will not do it for you then, Nigeria, was, you are going to put in your own issues. You are going to make your take your media alongside with me. Yes, we'll do that. Good. We'll do that. Um, yeah. We'll do that. Oh, in the next we need to plan. I from you, Manuel. Okay, Nigeria. I don't know how many come back. All right, comrade. Uh, comrade uh, Aigbogun, thank you very much for your time with us. Appreciate thank you, thank you, very thank, much. you. Thank, thank you, thank you, everybody. Us. Thank you, and I'm going to say good night now. Good night and good night. All right, good night. Good night. All right, um, Comrade Stanley Osaze Osakuna Holding, I appreciate your time with us. I uh, thank you very much for joining us, and I'm going to have you guys back again pretty soon. Thank you, and have a good night. Thank you very much, Ninja. Good night. All right, my um, people, we round up there. Um, I understand a lot of you were waiting for me to talk because I saw a comment where somebody said, Nigeria was why are you speechless? Yes, because I deliberately uh did everything, you know. I wanted to be speechless today. I don't want you guys to count me as a biased person today. But well, a lot of people have labeled me as biased, biased, biased. But this particular program today, this debate, I choose to be silent, pick calls, respond to um, comments, and allow the guests to talk to themselves. Okay, that's what I did. So I can see on the comment section today now, nobody actually said, Naja Walsh, you are biased. You are no, because I allowed them to talk. That was the reason why they were here. Okay, uh, I didn't call them though. I didn't call them. They actually called me. Both of them called me at the same time. Say, Naja Walsh, please give us a slot. We want to come on air. I said, okay, no problem. Uh, they, they actually also fixed the time. They said 8 p.m. I said, okay, that's fine. I don't have any schedules for 8 p.m. That's fine. So they called me. So and I brought them here. So I allowed them, I gave them the floor to debate and talk about what is currently going on in our states. So to be honest, um, I love this session. I like uh, the debate as well. I don't know about you. You know, there's no need to hate ourselves. Allow us to speak fairly, and um, let the law let let the love, you know, flow amongst all the people all over the world. You know, let us, you know, um, have, you know, arguing arguing with each other is not a problem. I've never seen that as a problem before in my life. But arguing to win is a problem. You know, but arguing to learn is a good thing. So trust me, my people, I appreciate every one of you for your time. All those of you who called in to contribute, who managed to get through, I appreciate every one of you. For those of you who couldn't get through, I'm sorry. Um, listen, we got a lot of missed calls today, more than 1,000. And I'm sorry, there's no way I can talk to everybody. And there's no way I can pick everybody's calls. Okay? We still have Pamode calling us back now. Hello, sir. Go ahead. We are rounding up. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. I can hear you. We are rounding up. Uh, everybody. Uh, go ahead. Sir. Yeah, no. I just want to have a quick one with uh, uh, Elsa. He's not here anymore, sir. He's not here anymore. He's, uh, we are I wanted to ask him. He's not here uh, anymore. They have gone. Okay. Yes, I'm alone. I'm alone here. Okay. I, yes, I can still ask you. Um, okay. I, for one, uh, the debate, I really enjoyed the debate, every bit of it. Thank you, sir. Uh, the other side of it is that I wanted to trash it out with Sakwena uh, Holding. Why is refusing to answer me?
No, 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 no. Maybe he, 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 he thought you were directly attacking him, but you were not. But that's fine. That's fine. I don't want to keep going that, sir. No, it's the, it's the term used that I was through. That's an insolence to me. But I, I'm not taking it out on him. I just want to lap it over. I just want to lap it over. And then you find time and find time to address that on your show, sir. I will. Yeah. Address it and remember that you are a father to all, okay? I will, I will, I will, I will, I will ask him. I will talk to him. But, but, but I say you should remember that you are a father to all. You know that. I know, I know, I know that. Okay, know good. That. I Wonderful. Mean, uh, to just say, I mean, to say that I'm rude. I'm not rude. It's just a question. No, okay. That okay. That's fine, sir. That's fine. But you just answered the question. You are a father to all, isn't it? I understand. And I so, as as with the children, sometimes we can still shake the leg of our father, isn't it? That that, that is true. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's Israel was attacking me too, and mm -hmm. I didn't like that. That's okay. Israel attacked you. Yeah, Israel attacked me all the time. He keep telling me what. Well, even when I'm uh, presenting my shows, he just gave me withdraw that language. How can you tell me that? No, 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 money no, 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 uh, on that one, I don't think Israel attacked you because Israel has always seen you as a father. So that's why I said just now, as a father, we can always step on your toes anytime. Because, I'm not upset, too. I'm not upset. I just want to. Because, but we want you to know, we want you to know that you have lots of children. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, so, I, I understand. And we, we, and we will always can't we, we tie you. You see, now me, I did not can't tie you today. Don't worry. Tomorrow, I will can't tie you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Naja. I was when you are offline with me because I'm coming up with my next show tomorrow. Okay. All right. I may, I may be coming with Ego Bermudia. Oh, okay. That would be good. That would be good. You know, she is she still the uh, Ego local government chairman? No local government in Edo State, no local government chairman. But she used to be the chairman then, I'm right? Yeah, Obasek uh, just stopped all, all uh, chair, uh, chairmen of local government, all of them. All right, um, we, we could... We, local government functioning, we don't have a, a council of... We couldn't, we, we just, couldn't, we couldn't cover everything today, so maybe on your show tomorrow... We'll see what we can cover there. I might, if Ege is there, I will call him. Okay, no problem. Thank you very Thank much, you. sir. Have a good night, Thank sir. You. Yeah, Thank yes, sir. You. Bye. You too. Yes. All right, that is our father, father of all, Pamode. You know, um, whenever he, he wants to get upset, I normally push him. I know, I know where to touch him. Say, no, Baba, why you want to do this one? If your children you do this one, you want to do this one. You will come smile, you come laugh. You know, that's what life is all about, you know. We are the only one that have the right to step on his toe. You know, Naime Kosimi Obaseki step on some people. If I make a young Kukuma arrest me, I not cause where this show. Because this show now not be my own. Not be my own, no. No, 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 because it's like, yeah, we're just well. Anyway, my people, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate every one of you. See, I did not even um, mention that anybody should leave to give me um thumbs up or anything. But most of all, most of you here didn't give me any thumbs up. We have over 600 people that were watching us. Many of you did not give me no thumbs up. I don't know why. We have only wanted eight there while 600 people were watching. You know, I didn't mention most of my get admins did not mention. We deliberately just wanted to see if people would do that, but nobody did that. And we've been here for the past uh, three hours and uh, we're supposed to be encouraged. It's not nice, to be honest. It's not nice. But um, people could call me. Thank you, Nigel. Well, thank you. Well, I think just give it the thumbs up, sharing our videos. I appreciate that more. More, 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 to be honest. You know, share our videos and give us thumbs up. It's very, very important to us. But nevertheless, um, I still appreciate every one of you, to be honest. I appreciate every one of you for what you guys are doing. You guys are so, so amazing. Thank you, my people. Um, I'm going to round up now because we've been here now since, since, uh, what was it? Let me look at the comment section. Yes, Ephrata Catfish, Nigeria. Thank you very much. I know you, you gave me thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I know lots of you did give me thumbs up. I know, but, um, few people did not. Um, I don't know why, but it's okay. 
that's fine that's fine as long as the the broadcast went well i appreciate my two brothers who came on air you know the make if i the the, the 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 debate was so superb and beautiful appreciate every one of you thank you oh i forgot that cartridge thank you so much thank you thank you. i know you'll be doing that to be honest even though you did not mention i know you'll be doing that thank you my good people i appreciate every one of you and i'm gonna say for the last time again this evening good night and good night i'll see you guys tomorrow morning by the special grace of god thank you very much you all I appreciate you all good night good night and sweet dreams <laughs> I'm gonna go